So, you find yourselves in the Athenium of Wertheim, the second floor. There are various robed persons walking, talking, laughing, arguing, discussing, kind of among themselves in a large hall-like space. And you also see that there's an open room to the north of you that you can see are various portals. And through those portals, you can see all the different locations, not only where you have been, but you have seen Spine of Death members showing up. Oh, Aside from one uh, that you've not been before, it looks to be some oh, kind of a heavily wooded area. Can I've been all over Belkinus. Does that look familiar to me at all? Yes, it does. It's just kind of like a general woods kind of towards the south of Yedzel, a thick brush. Uh, there are a lot of wolves and wargs and various other kind of woodland creatures that makes the place pretty dangerous, but great for hunting game. It's the area that we said we were going to go to, and then the next session we immediately and then you went didn't. to, to <laughs> yeah. rub a wooden stead and said yep. pranked. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oops. But you I do see like Belkinus uh, proper, kind of around the outside area. You see the mountains mm -hmm. of Yetzel. You see the grassy plains of Rogawood, and you see the outer portion of Chester City. Uh, it's very interesting, all the stuff in the north, Joe, but I'd like to call attention to all the things on the south because it looks like he's finally brought in enough NPCs to make this an even fight. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you do see maybe, many necromancers, maybe. but it doesn't seem like they've paid you any mind as they are wearing robes similar to you going about their day. It seems some are carrying books, kind of going back and forth between rooms, passing you by, going up and down the stairs. I think we have one necromancer for every one of Nathaniel's hit points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Which means just don't let them hit you. Um, which way looks, if this makes any sense, the fanciest? Like, you know how when rituals happen, there's like this special little like, section that's like quartered off for like all these cool events and all that but it doesn't get used otherwise mm. is there yeah. anything that looks so sort of similar to that you can give me a perception check <laughs> okay i will do that okay hi okay Ooh. looking at this Ooh. place the architecture is bare bones plain functional completely devoid of most decorations or anything like that the stone walls are completely flat and without any sort of special carvings like i said undecorated however judging by the importance of each room by the elevation that you're going up and down it seems as though the more important rooms are going to be uh higher up however if that where that pertains to where mirth or bloodstride is it's hard to say yeah uh, i'd like to look to luke do you know where we're supposed to go next? He shrugs his shoulders. I am unsure of the whereabouts of your friend, or Bloodstide, but I'm sure with your investigative skills, you can likely manage. I am unfortunately unable to help for very much. Being of a higher rank, I have duties to attend to so as to not raise suspicion with the spine. Would such a ritual not be a... Is such a ritual a widely discussed topic? I'm assuming that's something that doesn't happen every day here. Sure, it is happened waiting. in secrecy, so as to not have anyone perhaps eavesdropping or possibly interfering. It is a very sacred time. So oh, it's not so, it is not okay. something that they would speak of openly if we just waded into this craft. No, although perhaps there are some that do not follow the rules of the spine as closely. I know of a few troublemakers, and he squints his eyes and just kind of looks to his side. However, is he looking at anyone which in particular? Or no, yeah. he's not. He it seems like he's anyone? just in thought. <laughs> huh. Oh, okay, damn it, sir. <laughs> he's a dad here? All right. God, I can't believe he's such uh, a dad. Where were right. you when... Where were you... Where were you when I needed it? Yeah, where were you when I needed it? Okay, didn't realize I was opening trauma today. <laughs> he reaches, uh, I will mark he reaches my into his sleeve and pulls out uh, a small uh, kind of round stone of some kind. When you are ready, uh, here is a sending stone, so you may contact me whenever you need to, as well as anybody else who you might meet along the way. When you are ready, what? the room to the north is the portaling center that we may use to leave this place and we'll return to Belkinus. 
What are the names of the junior members here? What is their title? Uh, you may simply call them students. They are learning. Very good. I'm going to take the stone and walk away. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Luke I guess we're gives you go a start bow, talking to folks. and he heads up the stairs. Cool. Well, time to go mingle. Kara, <laughs> Kara kind of comes and just, like, oh. comes up to you guys. Now, this place is very intriguing, and I would like to explore it myself. However, I do know the importance of staying with a group. Would you rather me stay here? If not, I am going to poke and prod around. Why don't you take uh, one of us with you? DM request. I would prefer go. not to split the party. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fair. Remember. Yeah, we gotta remember. Um, that, that's absolutely valid. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, poke, and, poke and prod at your leisure. Send it call. Very well. If you need me, you have your sending stone. All right. Don't they? That would suck. Oh, I've had pe- plenty of people try to kill me over the years. Yeah, I highly doubt she would. And she heads downstairs. I also doubt that I would ever see my she father going, again, and yet here we are working is, with him. Is you that know, the same stairs just that happens. we just uh, ascended from that she's it going is. down? Okay, I think I know. She where wants she's to go going. to her oh. room. Yeah, she's getting her things. You know that we. You know that's valid. That no, she she, she had an interest it. earlier, I think. Yeah, she did, but she we wants didn't her want to stay shit. down there. <laughs> yeah, and so. she okay. wants to destroy it, so that's valid. That's she it. also yeah. she also might be looking around, seeing if she can't find anything robotic form. Very true. Very true. As What's you guys head down, um, first? is it is it Nathaniel and Renee that are wearing the old robes? Yes. Yes. As you walk down, you can see that some of the students notice you. And when they do, as you walk by, they kind of like take a few steps back and bow to you. Professor? Professor? Just bows. You know, oh, as I'm going to walk, walk up to the first one I see. Yeah. Wait, what it's do you like, do, it's Nathaniel? Not, it's not like a full. Oh, oh sorry. I'm going to walk up to the very first one I see. This one right here. I'm going to look down at it as it bows. Uh, it's good that I'm already tall, <laughs> but it just made itself smaller in front of me. Uh huh. You there. I'm looking for another student. A satyr. Have you seen them? Oh, uh, let's see. I haven't seen them in a while. Are you, you're talking about Mirth, yeah? That's the only satyr I know. Don't often get those. I, I don't respond to his question. I don't answer questions from this person. <laughs> Do you know? If, when was the last place that you saw them? Um, yesterday, actually. But, uh, wherever they were then, I just simply saw them in the eatery. But, uh, that was yesterday. Wherever they are now, who knows? Perhaps they're doing the ritual. That's not really my business to pry. Very well. Then you may go about your business. Uh, thank you, Professor. And he heads off. Into the wall, of course. Good. <laughs> 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 yes, I, I, yes. I guess I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow Nathaniel because Same, I'm just like, oh, I'm well, not, we're, we're both like, I'm not leaving yeah. you, squishy bastards. Yeah. Nope. Thanks, bodyguard. I mean, I don't know what's in this room, but I need to look like I'm going somewhere. All right. Yeah. So you go into that room, and as you open the door, uh, you feel just like the the kind of auditory crowd of the hall just like vanish as it, is, as it is completely quiet and you only hear a lone voice in the room almost like it was completely shut out as you you pass like an invisible barrier of noise and inside you see this oh oh you it's see, a class oh shit we just interrupted a classroom <laughs> you see several Oops. students sitting at desks listening in to a lecture from the professor up front so it looks to be an elf uh, who immediately goes silent as you enter and kind of gives you a look of jubilation. Ah, good, finally. A few, uh, I knew a few students were missing and a few professors, as it looks like. Perhaps you could help me with my lecture. Of course. Also, ah. Enoch, what are you, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> I'm kind of just like keeping my head down. I wanted to actually go across the hall and see what might be over there. Okay, well, uh, Let's let's do this first, and then we can go to you. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yes, how do you three respond? You see that the uh, the elf is looking at all of you. I will I... say, of course. Ah, good. Oh God. Ah, <laughs> finally. I don't know what class this is. My face Wait. betrays no emotion. <laughs> what class is it? What, what's on the board? Tell me this is like a history class or something. Tell me it's something I can lie about. So looking at the board, <laughs> it looks to be some kind of teaching of magic, i.e. necromancy. You can give me an arcana <laughs> check to see what you would know about it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. 
Uh, <laughs> is this a is this is this only Renee? Can I save this? Well, anyone who wishes can do an Arcana check on the board. Oh no! Oh man! Can I make, can I make oh, one for no. fun? Please? Go ahead, Luna. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Oh, so it's a twelve. Please. Twelve. You don't, don't know shit. Except, Luna, you, you recognize that it's like, oh, though they're probably, perhaps, maybe, like, looking like, looking at some, how dead bodies can be applied to certain chores, perhaps, based on the diagrams. <laughs> okay. I'm the only one with with proficiency in Arcana, well, and I just literally join you guys. So you <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm so the, uh, sorry. The professor just kind of like throws his arms towards, kind of like gesturing towards the, de mm -hmm. the desk and stuff. Come on, come on, come on in. I will stride yep, in with just... all the confidence of a person who does not know what he's in for. <laughs> just, just go in. Yep. And this is what it's like, like to lie on your resume. I, yep. I guess. I guess. I, I, I already know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I have guess a plan. I need to act like a student, so I'll take this. <laughs> <laughs> now then, where were we? Ah, yes, proper use of the undead in domestic life. Now, it's not all as simple as summoning and giving them a command. There is a special ritual you need. Isn't that right, professors? Would you like to help them? And he gestures over to Renee and Nathaniel. Now, what is that special thing that you need? A special command when you summon? Uh. Uh, oh god. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're screwed by every necromancer in this building. You can see um, all eyes are on you. <laughs> oh god, why did I have to get a critical fail? Uh, Wait, I, I, have, <laughs> I have an idea. Okay, go for it. Listen, I'm trusting you on all right. this one. Okay, alright. I'm going to stare, or I'm going to look at the board. I'm going to pick up the piece of chalk. Without wordlessly, I'm going to draw a circle and then under that a line and then I'm going to connect some lines to that and I'm going to collect a few more lines <gasps> until I have a person a little stick <laughs> figure okay right right necromancy is more than raising the dead and summoning them it is about I hit that I tap that skull control I turn to the rest of the to the rest of the class did any of you know that you are able to command the undead even before they have left the body oh uh, you can see that uh, the professor looks a little bit nervous uh pardon professor um i don't think i caught your name i you knew no of course not and i look at my cloak like this cloak that apparently <laughs> is worn only by old Members, <laughs> of course not. Well, right, but um, uh, with all due respect, we're talking about um, controlling the body after that they are dead. Uh, perhaps uh, you have a class at some other point talking about enchantment, but um, with right. all due respect, my class right I now look, is learning about the dead. I look. Question. Like I, I, I look back to to Renee and then yeah, back I, to the professor. I actually have a question. I have a question. Uh -huh. Go on. What's up? Um. We've seen the dead being summoned already. Our yeah. lovely neighborhood necromancer has done it several times during our encounters. Do I remember what she did? Hmm. Give me a straight up intelligence check. Okay. Let's see. That's to see if you can like the other one, but parse let's go out for anything boogie. in particular. Oh! <laughs> uh, with a sixteen, you remember most of the undead that were given tasks usually had something in hand. What? Like an item? Yes. And I don't remember what the item is. They were Did race. they? Did Do you they? Mean, I mean, like, the you ones mean, that like, had something in hand, like it was related to their task, like the one yes. you raised to sweep. Like, was it a okay, specific okay. thing? <laughs> yes. You need to, okay. So, like, basically, um, Renee is going to actually jump on with Nathaniel. Okay, I got, a, I got an idea. I got a plan. I got a plan. Okay. I got a plan. Yeah, yeah, I just have to make sure I had a plan. Let's do this. It's we're you and me. Let's go. Now. Let's, let's go. Um, she goes. No, he's most certainly right. Being able to understand the body when it's living gives you a better idea of what task it'll be most, most capable of when it's dead. Being able to control them is being able to understand what they were best at in life so that you can use them wisely in death. Yes, there is evidence that controlling, for instance, a skeleton that was good at botany and having it control or maintain plants. You'd give them a hoe or 
a rake or something to help them. The professor snaps his fingers and points to Renee. Exactly. The easiest way to make your command more effective is by giving the undead a tool. Befitting of the command. She just nods and says, she gives a sort of glare of like, if you interrupt me again, I swear to God, I will eat your children. Raise a hand. Like, it's like literally, she doesn't even like move her hands. She just like does a slow turn of her neck. Over he just like to the he, he he like flinches a little bit. Oh, uh, sorry, just uh, excited. For instance, who would like to be an example? I stand up. <laughs> That's good. Anyone? Anyone else? Any other takers? You see all of the students just kind of looking and whispering among themselves, and uh, it doesn't seem like anybody else wants to volunteer. So I see oh, well, that's unfortunate. Problem. I'm going to do something about that. Oh, no, uh, I was going to say... I'll... <laughs> uh, well, oh, actually, no, look, check, check this out. I've got uh, enthralling perform... Not enthralling... Yeah, wait. Yes, th- enthralling performance. <laughs> oh, God. You're going to use that now? I, what? Get it's a it. non-combat ability. I might that's as well fair. use it now. Uh, and so it's been about a minute. I'm going to target... I know he's an elf, but I'm going to target him anyway, because that he's not, he's just got resistance. Uh, that's a tiefling, I assume. I'm going to target that one. Those are goblins, yeah? Uh, those are elves as well. The yellow oh, ones are elves. Oh, that. What's this one? What's, what's uh, this black one? The, the black one is human. The red one is okay. a tiefling. The okay. orange one is dragonborn. The green ones you in the back what? are orcs. What's the blue one? The blue one oh, is a drow. Oh, is that a drow? God damn it. That's just an elf. Uh, okay. I want to pick him. Pick him. Pick him. Pick him. And yeah, let's pick the dragonborn as well. I pick all five of these guys. Okay. Uh, they're going to have to make uh, wisdom <laughs> saves. Oh, boy. Uh, the, if, I, it, if they succeed, they have no idea I tried to charm them in the first place. I have a plan. What is the DC? It's a very good plan. Uh, sorry, the DC is... Um, I, I don't like that it's not written down, uh, but it is 16. 16. Okay. Could be worse. Yep. Would you believe it? Every worse. single one of the students succeeds, but the professor fails. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> good. Uh, All we need is our teacher. Oh They'll listen God. to the teacher. In that case, what I'm going to do is I'll look at the students. <laughs> Fine, then. I suppose I'll start with one. You, what are you good at as I look at Luna? Oh, shit. Oh, God, don't make me answer questions. What are you good what at? You General good question. At? <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Drinking! Oh. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Pick one! I... Luna's going to shrug. I... Everyone's... She just like... The... Renee's actually okay, okay seeing that. Renee's Are gonna you... like put on her, her, bad, her bad teacher face. Walk over. Are you good at running? Belly. Well, there you go. She's like, yeah. like Renee had her hands on the desk and she like leaned into <laughs> Luna. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then hearing the answer, she will just nod and then lean back up and walk the other way. <laughs> Very good then. Running. All right. I'm going to like pull my, my uh, glove down so it's like all tight against my hand. And I'm going to pantomime uh, casting ne- necromancy on Luna. <laughs> okay. Uh, like just yeah. the impression of magic. Give me yeah. a performance Dece- check. Oh, oh good. I'm good at those, he said, lyingly. <laughs> okay. okay. They, 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 seeing enough of how the Spine of Death casts their magics, you make a few hand gestures that look akin to casting necromancy. Yeah. To be fair, I've been studying uh uh Kara's notes non-stop since we began this. So right, 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 yeah, right. I'll, I'll do what I remember from her. Uh, and like, I will, as I do this, say, in your, if you in life are good at running, which does not necessarily require items, but perhaps your shoes will work, then your skeleton inside you upon death will also be very good at running. Observe. And as I cast the spell <laughs> and then stop or like, like, and then put my hand back down, I'll nudge my head to the side, run out of this room. And then once you reach the main corridor, walk back, find someone random amongst them, bring them back here. I do that. So run as fast as you can, <laughs> girly. <laughs> Fucking paper's flying. <laughs> <Can't Okay. wait. laughs> as you can see, it has nothing to do with enchantment. Sometimes bones are just bones. You thought they were special because you were ins- because they were inside you? Nonsense. Hmm. 
Okay, well, you you continued your lecture, and uh, in the meantime, uh, ignoring the request to not split the party, Enoch, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I, I wanted to actually try and, like, see all, what was in every room. Uh, I wanted to check the other room, like, not go inside, but, like, sneak my way over to the other room and see what's inside and see if I can find Mirth. Okay, yeah, you can. You can search on that left room if you want. Okay. Searching, looking inside the left room, you can see that it is a nearly identical looking classroom with a less enthusiastic gnome teacher who sees you peeking through and gives you death glares. And he <laughs> simply speaks up, oh, I'm sorry, and I, am I interrupting something? Am I teaching on your time? Uh, uh, no. No at all. What is your name, student? Where are you supposed to be? You're not in my class. I don't recognize you. Uh, what is your schedule? I, I Come on, I don't have all day. You're wasting my time. You've already wasted it too much. I I was actually trying to find somebody. Well, they're not here, most likely, or else you would have spotted them. Now get out of my sight before you waste yeah. more of my time. Or you can mm -hmm. stay and actually do something productive. Yeah. Yeah, and I walk out. Jesus oh, Christ! <laughs> Remember when you said the charismatic ones had it handled? Yep. <laughs> Where are they? Now that I understand the I layout of this place, I, I I walk back out. I see Luna, and I'm just like, I just walk over to Luna. I have no idea what I am doing. It, it, am I am I in this now? Is that, is that what's happening? Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, saw yeah, you yeah. run out, and I I, I walked over. And um, just, I have no idea what I'm doing. Why the fuck did you go off on your own? And I, I grab you by the arm, and I start dragging you with me. Oh, what 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 what? <laughs> shush, yeah, I, I go shut with. Up. I, Shush. Follow with Nathaniel's act, for God's sake. Yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. I drag yep. him in here. <laughs> All right, and uh, oh. on the return, you can see that the el elven professor just like claps his hand. Very good, professor. Um, I didn't get your name. Yes, I know you didn't. As you can see, <laughs> the skeleton moved at a faster pace than a normal skeleton would. Mm, impressive. I'm going to have to write that down. He pulls out like a little pocket-sized notebook. Be sure to yes. alter my curriculum. I yes, see to it that you do. It's very important that we understand how to control people even before death. Right. If that uh, helps your class enough, I have business to attend to. No, oh, uh, of course. Thank you for your time. Now then, class, everyone say thank you. And everyone's just like, thank you. You can see there's a few of them that are asleep. Oh. Oh my god, I want to do something stupid. <laughs> do it. Uh, uh, can I, um, I... Necromancers can have other spells. They can. Yeah. Oh, I don't have Thaumaturgy. I'm so sad. Oh, which one's oh. sleeping? <laughs> uh, you oh can, god, I can use Mage Hand. You can see uh, there's an elf. The, like, the orc back here is like face <laughs> down on his desk. I am just going to like use Mage Hand and I'm just going to flick him in the nose. All right. Yep. You mage hand uh, over and like flick him, and he just like slips and falls on his desk and bumps his head underneath it. Renee is just gonna for shits and giggles before leaving. <laughs> walk over to this orc and lean down. Like her knees are not bent. She is full on just like plank leaning over this body. Oh, okay. you can see he's rubbing his head. Just like looks up at you. It's just kind of in embarrassment. Can you tell me what you just learned in this lesson? Uh, yeah, it's, um, uh, you've got, you know, with the, with the summoning, and, um, uh, you, you take the broom, and, uh, it's, uh, it's like a leg, right? Renee is going to pick this poor boy, this poor little orc, up by the scruff of his collar. Like, she's not very strong, mind you, mm -hmm. so she's basically using the sheer power of her presence to lift him up. Yep. Compel him to lift himself up. And she's going to look at the class and go, This is exactly why you need to focus so you don't make as much of an ass as, of yourself as he is. You can see a few of them are <laughs> chuckling kind of under their breath. <laughs> <laughs> and you would do well to respect your fellow students 
by not laughing at their mistakes and helping them when they make them in the future. Everyone shuts up and just like it just turns their heads back towards the front of the fr front of the class. And with that, she will just walk out <laughs> and she will walk out of the classroom. Not another word. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, thank you for your time, Professor. All right, uh, I'm taking this student as uh, as an example for future classes. Very well. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes, use of necromancy in domestic life, and you just hear groans from <laughs> everyone as you leave. <laughs> Renee's just like, as soon as they're out, fucking looks over. Well, that's fucking fucked. <laughs> like, Jesus fucking Christ. I was just trying to find mirth, goddamn. But I, I was not. <laughs> Onward we go. Yep. Wow, there's a surprising amount of people in my way. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, they, they move Wee! out of the way. I'm not moving yeah, of every course. single yeah. token. How dare you? <laughs> my immersion is broken. Us. We are important people. As, as you're we passing by, it. as you're passing by, you do, you do bump into someone who is walking backwards, kind of being rowdy, and uh -huh. uh, they, they bump into someone very short, and they stumble and seem to drop a few things, and they just turn to you. Hey, watch where you're going, tall folk. You nearly made Bookwick drop. Uh, she looks and notices that you're dressed in some old robes. Uh, alchemy project. Right. The words you said were Bookwit. Uh, yes. Bookwit is Bookwit. Uh, she gestures to herself. You can see, you notice, it is a goblin. No. Oh. Um, Don't adopt another right. goblin, guys. But I want right. one. <laughs> but, but we have to. What was it that you called me, but what? Uh, um, a tall folk, Professor. Uh, you are tall folk. You are taller than most goblin. Right. And why did you choose that specific term? Uh, give me an intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just give advantage because I haven't said a word this whole time, but I'm basically using the same sort of tactic I used in you the classroom. May, of you just may, you yeah, may, yeah, help, help aura. action. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Action. No, yes! that's a <laughs> <laughs> She picks up her items in like one swift motion and bolts away. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't understand why people always do that. I'm only asking some questions. Oh, we wanted. Oh, that would be my fault. I'm sorry. You have to remember, <laughs> you're kind of intimidating. I look to Renee. Don't be sorry. Oh, okay. Just, <laughs> just not so like. <laughs> okay, we're going into another room. All Let's right, go. going into you. another room. When you go in this one, you see that inside <gasps> there seems to be and a then few we professors. <laughs> A few professors that seem to be surrounding a bone golem. They are all discussing a few things that uh, you can't really quite hear kind of before they stop and notice you walk in. And you can see that there's a tiefling there, and she looks pissed. <laughs> oh, no. She turns oh. to you and just speaks up. This area is off the limits. We shut it out, and we <coughs> said that no professor is to enter until we are finished. Right. The sign must have fell off. And I leave. <laughs> she she calls out. Wait, I Damn don't it. recognize you. Who is this person? Who is this inside check? Who the fuck is this person uh, to tell me what to do? A professor like us. <laughs> is it well, a professor? You notice are that the robes yeah, are decorated ropes? more like Luke's purple, whereas the uh, oh. the students are are decorated in green. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Okay. Oops. <laughs> So you still want to roll that insight? Yes, I, d I definitely still do. I want to know who the fuck like this. The audacity. I want to get yeah, the audacity. The audacity. Just the audacity alone. Necro hunt and the audacity of this bitch. <laughs> you you notice it. that this tiefling, she does seem to hold herself in very high regard, and you know it seems as though that the other two in the room as well are kind of on her side, kind of like very much also giving you a face of like, yeah, what the hell. And it seems as though she is very confident in the words that she's speaking. And she seems to hold some kind of very high authority from what it sounds like. But she is very mad. Okay. You wouldn't recognize us. We have been in Chester City for the last month. Hmm. You can see... Actually, give me a persuasion check. You're not lying. 
But you are trying. She does need to be convinced. Oh. Uh, could it be deception? I am. I. I mean, we haven't been there for a month. We were there for a few days. So technically, okay. Yeah, you can lie. do deception. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Deception. Yeah. Ah! It's it's just not, not that a whole good. Last lie. It's just not a whole ass lie. It's just a half lie. Joe, this place is making me sweaty. Needs weak arm spaghetti. Yeah, me too. Arm <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> the tiefling te- takes a, stoops, uh, a few steps forward. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Chester City. And what was your mission in Chester City? Who sanctioned this? Do I know if my rank outranks my dad? Hmm. That is not information <laughs> that you would know. Damn it! Why didn't Luke tell me? I can't play this right if I don't know! I will take um, a step. Oh, actually, you know what? You can. You go. You go. You haven't said shit. You haven't gotten a chance to say anything. <laughs> oh God. Um, Unless you want me to, I have an answer ready, but it's up to you. Go, like you can listen, go. Listen, I'm more likely to go with yours than I am to come up with one myself. Okay, I'll so, take a step forward. Do it. Match Chaos it. <laughs> Bloodstride had us on a recruitment mission. Give me one more deception check. <laughs> Okay, Yay! all right, yeah. Yeah, we're back. I, I, I went out of the house to roll that 16, but now we're back in because we only roll 20s in this house. Yeah. God. She just, uh, she just harumphs very well. And what are those students? Shouldn't they be in class? What are they following you for? Come on, Doesn't speak matter. up. She just looks to the two students now. Oh, uh-oh, it's their turn. Uh... Good luck. <laughs> I presume you both have a good reason why you're following these professors around. They told me I had unique potential. (laughs) Oh my god. Yeah, that's true! Yeah, Renee just kind of nods and goes, Both of the students showed promise, so we decided to give them a little bit more observation just to be sure. You can't be too careful. (laughs) Hmm. And what is their promise? What is their unique potential? Come on, can't you two speak up for yourselves? A good Shit. necromancer knows to stand tall. <clears throat> fuck it. Renee is going to delve into um, <laughs> fucking uh, Luna's brain. I'm going to be using my uh, telepathic. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to dive into Luna's brain and just to help out, be like, you are a really good fighter. You you are a very good fighter. Listen to me. Necromancers are very good at coming up with super shit. Imagine the potential of having necromancers who are very good at defense and being able to build them up and protect the other necromancers around them, especially in Belkinus. It's very fucking important. <laughs> like, <laughs> you just see like halfway <laughs> through this was like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> like when I just turned around to face Luna in the sense of like, go on, but as she's looking at Luna, like, Luna, 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 listen to me, listen to me, like, in her eyes. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah, Luna will step forward and I'm gonna make a motion with my uh, shoulder to jostle my chain mail. I'm a bit more resilient than some of the other students you have here. Ah, I see. Bloodstride did say something about trying to recruit more people capable of fighting in hand-to-hand. And you, young man, come on. Uh, Oh, me? Uh, I'm really good at making uh, mechanical and also applying magic to undead things like imbuing him with magic yeah uh, <laughs> right artificy hmm uh. yeah like using necromancy for artificy the dialect is very strange where are you from? I know you're Australian uh, uh, I'm gonna try to go uh, as you can see they need a little bit more observation because sometimes their magic tends to backfire and it causes them a little bit more damage than would be beneficial. So <laughs> keeping an eye on them, but make uh, sure that the merchandise stays good. This must be a unique case, whatever. As mm. long as Bud Bloodstride knows what he's doing. Now, what have, what a business oh, he have you here? We've told every professor there should have been a message given out that this place is off limits for the next two hours. Like I said, your message failed. Oops, get a better message. 
She stares <laughs> daggers at you, Nathaniel. What? Like Renee is just my face betrays her. no emotion. Yeah. Renee is just meeting that same energy. Nathaniel doesn't need to meet the energy. I am meeting that same energy. <laughs> Bitch, you want to go? You can see the dragonborn just comes back. Uh, professor, perhaps we could simply just return to the task and just trying to calm her down. You. <clears throat> and that well. seeing the student kind of like talk her down, and be like, "Looks like we at least we have our students under observation, and the students aren't observing us." And she says, "Renee will turn around and walk away." Goodbye, bitch. Ooh, boy, you guys are playing with fire. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I, it's oh, fine. This teacher Don't can either be bad. angry is... or or wrong, but they're not allowed to be both. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, Renee's right. gonna walk away and just ask, okay. Oh, I'm... <laughs> this is not good. Okay. Also, she will turn around to Enoch. What the fuck was that accent? Perhaps I have no idea what of... you are talking about. Perhaps uh... not in front of all of the students in the hallway. Full of students. Mm, she just will <laughs> sigh and walk. <laughs> like. Okay, so going into that room, <laughs> you can see one second. Just Watch this be another fucking project. Okay, you walk in there, and you can see inside that there are various different skeletons, as well as a few storage chests. Oh! You can see the skeletons are just tending to a few things. They're kind of bringing things in and out, just like kind of arranging things in the chest. You can see that there are various clothes, papers... A uh, few little weapons and trinkets and stuff like that. Okay. They don't okay. seem to be paying you any mind. Yeah, I really want to know what's in the boxes. Yeah, I want to know what's in the... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to look to the first skeleton. Are any of these boxes dangerous to open? Uh, you see, the skeleton doesn't respond. It's simply just arranging things in the box, closes it, locks it, and hangs the key on a belt that it has. And is about to walk out of the room. What happens if I try to take the key? I reach for the key. You reach for the key? Ooh. Do you take yeah. the key? I, is it stopping me? No, it seems to go about its way and continues to walk and is trying to snake between you to kind of leave the room. You know what? This business does not concern me. These are boxes in the middle of the room. I'm not here for treasure. I'm here for mirth. Yeah. Friendship is Same. my treasure. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel right. like Renee is kind of almost reaching for it and then sees the daily go back and she's like, Damn it. <laughs> then she'll like walk away. Don't worry, we'll just put Mirth into indentured servitude for the price of what we assume would have been in these boxes. I <laughs> say ten thousand gold. Yeah, exactly. I, I would say why don't we raid this place after we get Mirth? Is uh, that not still, yeah. it's still gonna be full of necromancers, mind you, so probably not the best idea. Necromancers with yep. no leader. <laughs> Yeah, but okay. necromancers nonetheless, and they probably won't like us, so... I mean, <laughs> I mean most yeah. of these people are students. This is kind yeah. of the game of what happened, like, are, do you think you'd be able How to fight a hundred first graders if a fifth <laughs> grader came in every five waves? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, granted, a lot of, they are called students, but there are a lot of adults. There are yeah. students in the same, so like, think, think of college students. That yeah, they come in all they types of college, ages. they're even worse. Yeah. Yeah, but like I, <laughs> magic is the great equalizer. Generation not getting enough sleep. That means it'll yeah. be easier to take yeah. down. <laughs> I'll throw one coffee bean, and they'll all fight each other <laughs> just to get it for the sweet yeah. taste of that delicious caffeine. Oh god! <laughs> all right. Um, after coming out of there, Renee is like probably gonna wait for everybody to catch up, and then once everyone's caught up, just look between the two hallways, go left, right, which fucking oh, way? You always go left in a maze. Fucking there. <laughs> All right, you're gonna go left. So left. So when you head into the left room, you can see that it is kind of sparsely populated, with just a few professors and Fuck. a large floating purple crystal, akin to the same Ooh. material as the kind of walls that you see. However, it is very polished looking, and it is floating there, just simply floating, while these professors seem to be taking notes. And as they see you approaching, uh, you can see that there's a human here, and she speaks up. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, I guess they might have accidentally sent a second inspection team. Uh, we've got this under control. Is there a business you need here? I look uh, up at the giant flo Oh, you go, you go. Oh, okay. I mean, honestly, Renee is probably going to shake her head of just like, if there was another inspection team, that it should be fine. Communication se here seems to have gone a little strange. Um, but she will look over at Nathaniel for second approval of like, right? Like, <laughs> it, this isn't what we came here for, so. 
I just want to make sure that this is all on the up and up. Do you mind if I take a look at your notes so far? No, uh, of course. Uh, yes. Yes, and then I'll leave you to it. Yep, you can see that, uh, you can see the elf over here seems to be just conjuring a few things, looking it over, he gets out of the way, the half-orc over here is doing the same thing, just looking it up and down, drawing a few pieces that are floating, kind of looking at them closely, and she hands over a clipboard. On the clipboard you can see that there's various notes of, you know, no uh, unusual activity from coming from the crystal, no new chips, you know, just checking, like, a long list of characteristics involving the crystal and all just, like, no changes, safe, 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 make sure to polish this part, etc., etc. Does, by looking at this, does it look like I can understand what this crystal's purpose is or what they are worried might happen to it? You can give me a general intelligence check, if you so wish. Could it be investigation? Can I convince you to do investigation? You know what? Yes. Hey. Although that might not give you the information that you want involving you know what? That's fine. involving what the crystal does. Uh, I'll live with it. I'll live with my role. Looking over the I crystal, this is very familiar in that it looks akin to a lot of crystals <clears throat> that might be found in your world. Uh, crystals that bear a significant amount of magical power of some kind. However, this one seems to be imbued with the material around the place, uh, whatever that might mean. Whatever this is, it's very, very important, though, you can tell. Okay, so if this were to break somehow, it would be very bad. You can the the uh, human notices you, uh, kind of looking it over. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, perhaps you might be new here. I I don't recognize you. No, you wouldn't. We've been in Chester City for a month. Oh, only a month. Oh, then I would imagine that you would. I'm sorry. Did you have a memory wipe, perhaps? <laughs> and I'm gonna hand the 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 thing back, the papers back. Do you think that I would know if I did? <laughs> Give me a straight charisma check. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh at the at everything. It's, but it's holy just fuck. we are. Oh God, we are oh, no! she, she narrows her eyes a little bit. No, of course not, Professor. <laughs> go ahead and go about your business. Oh no. Yeah, we've been found okay. out. We've been uh, I don't know that. I don't know shit. <laughs> oh, God, We've been fucking revealed. made. I can, I can wait. I can roll initiative. Or not initiative. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I can roll insight, but I don't want to metagame because, like, I'm trying. If they narrow their eyes, I don't know. I'm going to keep You I'm can roll leave. insight if you want. You know, I very okay, deliberately okay, right. gave that yeah, response the way that I did. Okay. Well, that's not great. These rolls are not doing me too hot today. With a 14, you can see that her Get demeanor has house. definitely changed from when you entered the room. Oh no. Originally, oh, okay. Originally, she was very welcoming and accommodating, but as you were leaving, after that sentence that you said, she clearly has a change of heart of some kind. Oh no. Uh, once I reach the rest of the group, I'm going to whisper, "We've been made." Renee, do you have a silent spell? Fuck. Uh, that means no. Just shakes her head, like. What needs to be done? Well, something very dangerous is involved with that crystal. If it were to break or be damaged in some way, it could cause irreparable damage to the rest of this facility, presumably. You're not suggesting we set that off, are you? No. But we need to do something about the human. Or we need to find Mirth. We need to move faster. While and... you're discussing, you hear okay. just from another oh, part fuck. of the room, someone go, you're not from around here, are you? You're not really professors. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Who said that? Made, yeah, would that voice come? That, I will, if it's somebody we don't know, I will punch them in the face. You notice oh, that God. it's the same goblin that you ran into, that you bumped into. Oh, oh I swear and to God, she, this goblin child. She is not as scared as she originally was. She's leaning up against the wall with a smug, shit-eating ass, shit ass grin. And she looks to you, crosses her arms. Isn't that right, Professor? I'm going to look to her just... <laughs> absolutely dumbfounded as if imagine going to your teacher in high school and saying you're not really a teacher here that's the look i'm giving i'm the teacher confused about how i want to know where this goblin got the audacity 
And I want to know who gave it to him. <laughs> her. <laughs> I want to know how much she paid for it. Yeah, I want to know who grew that audacity first. <laughs> she, I want to know simply, every step that came to this. She simply looks up. There ain't a single person in Vertheim that doesn't know what the life crystal is. That's the number one thing they tell you when you get here. Oh, is that so? But I could possibly keep your secret if you can help me. Right. Perhaps we should speak a little bit more. I look around privately. Hmm. All right, I know just the place. She comes up and extends her arm. The name is Bluck, uh, Bluckwick. And see this. Oh, God, oh God, she God. loves you. Oh, God, God. I love you. She's a person. She's a I little, love her. She's, she's a, a little, little bit scrappy little demon, and I love her. I, we're keeping her. All yeah. right, we're, we're, we're adopting her. this one. God damn, every goblin. Every goblin joke is put in front of us. Oh, God. We have oh, adopted. Lookwick knows that tea is the best kind of currency, and you have great tea for Lookwick. <laughs> oh my god, she wants the tea. She wants, <laughs> she wants the tea. Oh my god, right. wait. Oh my god. Can we get her against the human professor what? we just like ran into? I have a better idea. Ooh. Let's let's talk about the stone stairs. Oh, okay. And let me just put Lookwick on the board. Bluckwick! God damn it, Bluckwick. she's so Girl. cute. How dare Bluffy, you? Let's go! We're if anything her. happens to this goblin, <laughs> I will go feral. Something's about to happen to this goblin. <laughs> Something is about to happen to this goblin. I'm about to make someone's day yep. very poor. <laughs> well, let's go, let's go, let's go try and find a better place to talk. Okay, yeah. so you guys head downstairs then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Where? Yep, downstairs where there are no listening ears or prying eyes, only the skeletons. Very good. As soon as we step down, uh, are the skeletons looking at us as we walk down? Uh, no, it doesn't appear like they're paying you any mind. I think Fantastic. we established that the skeletons can't, like, relay things that they he hear to <laughs> yeah. Bloodstride either, so it's safe. Yeah. Okay, good. As soon as we meet, meet to the bottom of the stairs, I cast sleep. <laughs> As you head <laughs> not our child down the stairs, the what what is sleep's casting components? Uh it is a verbal somatic material, but material is my right, 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 of course, yeah. Uh, so it's verbal. So you do say verbal something somatic. to cast it. Oh yes. Okay, you do so, and she's just fine. Uh, you did not. You did not beat her health threshold. That's oh. fair. And she she looks up. Now, what's the big idea around that? Blookwick is is Blookwick not trustful? Is Blook I look is up, Blookwick not a good secret keeper? I look at my hand and then back at the goblin, and I will say with all sincerity, I'm not going to lie. That never happens. Well, Blookwick thinks you should maybe try new tricks. Well, to be fair, usually the person has gotten whacked a couple of times first. You should be lucky that we haven't actually hit you yet. Oh. Right. Oh, you I'm think, you, you, think you can you? take Blookwick on in a fight? <laughs> no! Look, can I, can look I just go my listen. neck in response no, no, to that? No, no, look, everyone, let's all calm down. Mm -hmm. Blue Quick, lovely, ones. sweetie, darling. <laughs> let me let me tell you something. As as you can tell, we, we are not necessarily from here directly per se for the norm. Um, but we are here to help the necromancers. Hmm. She scratches her but chin. But we won't be able to do that if we get found out so quickly and easily, yes? Right. What exactly, exactly are you here to help with the necromancers? We're trying to give you an opportunity to not be, like, having to put yourselves in a little hole, per se. You can see in her seriously consider this. She looks down, and her, her smug grin goes to uh, just kind of a face of, of thought, and she seriously considers this. You you have seriously found some very f clever ways to use this magic that, admittedly, I myself, for a very long time, and I still, there are still some parts of your magic that I do not coincide with, let me tell you that. I'm going to be completely honest with you, and that is because I'm trying to be with, as honest with you as possible right now. Yes? We are being honest with each other. Give me a persuasion right? check. Okay. <laughs> Remember your hey, eloquence bar. Fight me. Hmm. Oh, God. Blickwick does like having more options than the spine. Yeah. 
What? This kind of death is as good as it is, like, educational-wise, it's probably not fun social life-wise. I mean, come on, the crowd looks kind of dead, no offense. <laughs> ah, you're funny. She just laughs. Yes, I love this kid. Is, is at any point is this person lying to us about the whole? I mean, you can give, you can give it insight yeah. if you would like. I oh, I'm inciting Absolutely, the I heck trust out this of that. Person. I'm still <laughs> stunned that well, I failed. Apparently, I do trust this person. Adorable, That's a five. But, Adorable but shifty is kind of the whole song and dance here. That's a natural 20. Oh, oh my hey. God. <laughs> You can tell that she seems to have ulterior motives in this. It, it seems as though that whatever she's how like she offered you help, but she clearly has more plans of some kind. Uh based around, you know, how shifty she's looking and also how the stuff that she was carrying didn't seem like what she was carrying earlier, that you bumped into her and she dropped. It didn't seem like something a normal student would carry, like books and stuff. It seemed like a, a hodgepodge <sighs> of random assortment of materials, maybe for crafting. Mm -hmm. Oh hmm. god, it's, it's, it's no Tales Apprentice. <laughs> Bluequick might I, be able to help you with that, but only if you help Bluequick first. What exactly are you asking for help with? A new prank. She gives a big smile. Oh, you need oh, to I'm chill. about this. I, I, I like where this is I going, like, but we're uh, also yeah, on no. a bit of a time crunch, so how yes, long is this going to take? Oh, not long at all. Not, not, not long at all. Will I, it involve the human and making sure that they are done, dealt with so that we don't get in trouble? Hmm. Well, I don't know anything about that. That's not my concern. That's your concern. Oh, but that is our concern. Are you your saying that they can't be the target now. of your prank? Hmm, perhaps they could be. Right, we can have someone be a target. But my primary target is Professor Bloodstride. Oh, See, Bluquick loves messing with Bloodstride. He's always so determined and got a stick up his butt. And it's always fun to watch Bloodstride wiggle around whenever things don't go to plan. Bluquick. All right. I listen, am fucking love you right now because we have yeah. some fresh tea. We don't. We're not going to say it because it is too important. Oh. But I need you to understand the tea that we have on fucking blood stride is so delicious <gasps> and embarrassing that you would yeah. not fucking believe. Oh yeah, no. It's, you have to it, trust me. It is amazing. But I cannot tell it to you right now because if. We don't get to him. We can't even have the big plank actually happen. Yes? Because it is the best shit you have to understand. It will change your entire perspective on this on this fucking necromancer dude. He's not even he's just a dude. I need you to understand this, Blackwit, okay? <laughs> listen, listen, she and it's like, like holding your uh, shoulders, uh, like, breathe. It, it you know, you wanted to say something? Uh, it, it, no, I, I was, I was going to say, you have no idea how hilarious this level of information is Ooh. due it's to the nature of just like, it's so stupid. Like it's, it's near childish what he has done, but it's, it would be so embarrassing. Ooh, Blue Quid I, so, would love that kind of information. Right? So if you could help get us through our little uh, nooks and crannies around here and get us two blood straight, you can be like first in line at the first seat and it, oh, it will be so delicious. Okay. All right. Look with like this. So, here's what we do. I know where Bloodstride's office is. Uh huh. And? And if you Ooh. can somehow help Lookwit sneak this stink bomb in there, and she holds up like a a little oh. spherical <laughs> item. Oh my that God. seems to be I feel wrapped like in I'm leather. Fucking Hogwarts right now. What the hell? Oh, this is this is my professionality. If you can sneak that in there, Bluequit will let you have the reins of the office. Whatever happens in there, she lifts her hands up like a like a shrugging hand, like, whoa, was not Bluequit? Just some four strangers coming in here. Bluequit had nothing to do with that. And oh, nice. deal. when that goes off, oh, the dullness of this place will be so much less dull. You know what? I like yeah. you. 
I, I like this level of chaos. This is fun chaos. Yeah. Like, I but know I, I'm exactly. a pretty orderly but individual, but this is chaos. We, look, what we won't be able to do is if we can't get back up those stairs and pass that little group of professors. Oh, so uh, don't you worry. Blookwit will handle that. Watch. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. She just like grabs. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> she gets up her cheeks. <laughs> she she just like like throws down a hand. Oh stop! Look, we know she's great. Oh. oh dear God. And she That's goes up. Oh yeah. Up the stairs, and you can see. Uh, let me just go back to the room. So I love her. Blookwit <laughs> walks into the room. And goes up to the human woman, who you can see is about to cast some kind of message, as uh, you have cast it many times before, Renee. After oh. you know discussing, and Blookwit walks in, and you can see the woman just like, oh, "What is it, Blookwit?" Oh, oh, nothing, Professor. I just, uh, you know, I, I saw a few students who were just going about down below, and uh, they said that they were going to the middens, and I don't know why. And the woman's just like, the woman's eyes just go wide. The middens. Why are they going? Did they say what they were doing? Oh, I don't know, but uh, they seem to be carrying some kind of box that was glowing green, and and the woman just starts to stomp <laughs> towards. Let's go ahead and go over this way. She oh. she looks at you and she just like points to you. I'll deal with you later, and heads downstairs. And Blueprint <laughs> just comes up. That should keep her occupied for the next couple of hours. Oh, I love you. You're my favorite. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to this. Let's get to this office. All, All right. right. She heads up the stairs and has you leads you alongside. I also will give sort of like a sympathetic pack to Nathaniel because he hasn't spoken since the sleep incident. So just change the pen. Very unfortunate when we kill this goblin. No, we're no, not killing this goblin. No, I, I, no. I am. I am directly adopting this child. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you head upstairs to the third floor of Wertheim, the enclosure. Oh boy. And you can see that there seem to be various dormitories to the left and right of you, just rooms lining this hallway, as well as an open courtyard. The grass and trees oh. look dead, but, you know, decorated, kind of like a an open area for people to get some fresh dead air, as it were. And you can also see wow. that there is a doorway to the eatery, kind of down south. And as Blookwit is, is leading you up the stairs, you can hear a commotion in the courtyard, and Blookwit notices, and she immediately bolts and kind of like nearly drops her things, but just like sets them on the floor and bolts over. Hey, 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 hey! Stop that! Uh-oh. What's happening? Uh oh. I, I'm gonna look, but I'm not gonna go forward just yet. I wanna look and see what's going yeah. on. Yep. You can see as she runs out, around you this notice corner. that there is a... A few, like, humanoids, a few persons, that seem to be pushing around a little kobold. Oh! And you see that uh, Blookwit seems to be arguing with a half-orc, and she just kind of, like, pushes him a little bit. You should pick on someone your own size, like Blookwit! And the, the half-orc just, like, kind of, like, nudges her with his leg a little bit. Ah, uh, is the wee stump gonna kick me in the shins? And he oh, just kind I'm of kicks her out of the way. Up. Oh, uh, Enoch is definitely stepping up to this. <laughs> we do not have time for this high we school drama. I know, I know, I know, but this is wrong. This is fundamentally wrong, and it's against my code of ethics. <laughs> yeah, he's he's waving the book around and he's he's reading it. Look at this lad. Oh, Dory wants to be a dragon, and he just kind of starts reading the pages, flipping the pages around and tearing a few and tossing them aside. Oi, oi, what the matter is this? <laughs> uh, question. Uh huh. <laughs> His hand axes are ranged, right? <gasps> <gasps> what? <laughs> You gonna oh, you gonna no. you gonna draw steel in the in the, in the no. facility? I had an idea to Whoa. knock the out of the man's hand with it. All these He's about to eat with steel in about a second. Kicks better run, better run. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> run my hand axe. <laughs> I'm not doing uh, it. For the record, I am not doing it. Faster not than Miss Luna. It wasn't. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not committing to it. I was asking if a hand axe is a ranged uh, weapon. It's okay. It is a ranged weapon. Recreational question. Thank you. 
you see he's just he's just kind of waving the book around and just like reading a few pages. Those who garner a mass of power will send to dragonhood. Oi, does that mean I'm a dragon compared to you then? Seeing as you're having trouble reaching this high. Come on, grow some wings, huh? Fly up and snatch You're the ma- book. Your massive power? I'm, I'm walking up, and I'm going to snatch the book out of his hand. Oh, you, he's he's doing this to the kobold. Uh, you're going to try and snatch the book? Give me an acrobatics check. I'm going to act like a Can shithead? I give advantage by, with through my shit talking? <laughs> like, to kind of no. catch him off guard? <laughs> yeah, you can give the help get... action, you both trying to snatch the book. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah you know, yeah. you can roll another acrobatics. Okay. For advantage. Uh, <gasps> Hopefully a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Let's see. Okay, you do snatch the book, and you can see that his cronies, you can see the kobold just kind of like goes over to you, Enoch, and just kind of like reaching for the book. He doesn't say anything, yeah. but he's just like I, reaching for it. I hand it back to the I hand it back to the kobold. Yep. Now, we don't mess with our own kind around here, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. <laughs> and I just the orc just takes a few <laughs> steps back and shrugs <laughs> and just crosses his arms. Oh no, you, We're supposed you to be helping each other, learning to accept each other. That's what I found while I'm here. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. What's this now? Backing away now that you've been knocked aside? What, do yeah. you really, can you not take some on your own size? You sit there and puff your chest as if you got something to show. Give me an That's intimidation check, here. Luna. <laughs> and with, with the help yeah, from I, Enoch. Yeah. That's yeah. what I expect from a third rate necromancer, I guess. Uh, with the fourth rate spell book. You can see Good a Lord. few students behind you are like, Ooh. 17! You're a third rate spe- You're a third rate caster with a fourth rate spell. Casting a cantrip, can ya? <laughs> Enoch, your joke. How did you do this? How did you come back like this? Like, what the fuck? Oh, this is everything I I wanted. Can I just revel in this for the first time I've rolled well on an intimidation check in this session? I played the best hype man today. I'm so proud of my... Yeah, I was gonna say, Luna Luna dropping the little little (laughs) hot bars with Enoch backing her up. Uh, You can see that... The half orc just turns to you and just like, what did you say to me? <laughs> I think you, you had me. It. I you think you us? had me. If you really need to go and pick up some poor person's personal thoughts in order to make yourself feel higher than everyone else, that clearly shows your inadequacy, not theirs. Hmm. Yeah, what's wrong with trying to bo- with somebody having a little bit of self faith and a little bit of. You know, good, good confidence in themselves, good confidence. I entered this school under, I entered this school under the under, assumption that I would be accepted for what I am. Yeah. This, no, clearly not. He he simply gestures at that com, uh, comment, just throws his arms, just like gesturing around him. Oh yeah, well that's not the case now, is it? Some of us get to ascend, not all of us. So even when they say we're accepted, are we really? Some are still better than others. I'm certainly not going to ascend to you. Well, why the hell are you taking that out on your fellow students and not the professors? Oh, shit. I would like to step in. <laughs> no, she's speaking real <laughs> truth okay. right now, mate. She's speaking real truth. As a professor steps in, Nathaniel, everyone just goes quiet and the, uh, the, the half-orc just like turns and just tries to shield his face. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry about this. I just... He said a thing that I really need to pick up on. Oh no. He just kind of like sits there, kind of mumbling to himself, looking down. He doesn't look very happy. Yeah, everyone is all shushy. And you know, all the other students are like, Professor, Professor. You think you're worthy of ascension, do you? (gasps) I... I don't know. I I, I came here and I was being taught and... This shit's hard, Professor. All this learning and going out in the field and it's... It's dangerous out there for us. Yes, very hard when you're spending all of your time. And I look to the uh, to the book that has been stolen and then taken back. Learning. Tell me, who was the last person that you saw that you think might have ascended? Well, uh, m- Murph, but uh, it's against the rules to talk uh, in more detail about that. Oh, is it? I was unaware. Where do you think Murph is now? Uh, 
I'm not sure. We're not supposed to know when the ascension is happening or where. It is forbidden. Of course, of course. And what qualities do you think Mirth has that you do not? Well, he just kind of scratches the back of his neck. They're right annoying, but I, I guess they are pretty bright and good at making friends. I was never good at making friends. And Listen, they're, they're just good at potions, and if that's all it takes, then maybe they should be giving us potion classes instead. Well, hey, listen, talent is cultivated by practice. And you sit there and think your practice is by bullying other people. That's just outright mean, that is. I can't believe we're having a bully talk. And- <laughs> oh, no! No, I can't listen. Belkinus Neckerhan has pushed several positive messages. I am putting on a character yes. while playing a character. That's None ins- of this makes sense. That insane Cockney student is speaking the truth. Well, I'm sorry I that am, I'm not. I am. I'm sorry I'm not good enough to have been born in a family with a silver spoon in his mouth that he could afford potion classes. All right. Yes, yes, you're sorry. I was shunned by my family, things. and they didn't give me one whit. Uh, I'd be willing to be your friend if you uh, decide to actually stop being nice to other, uh, other students around here. What's your name? <laughs> Shit. Give me a give me a persuasion, Enoch. <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is happening? If you were more nicer, I would be your friend. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's exactly what you did. Uh, persuasion, is it? Persuasion. I was I mean, trying. If I to see you in the five. five. <laughs> you can see him, him, him look at you. <laughs> My name's Bullwalk, and you best remember it. I don't think right, I'd be. Bullock. I'd want to be friends with the likes of you. Come on, lads, let's go get some food. And he just shrugs. He just mumbles and grumbles and grabs his two lackeys and starts to head to the eatery. Wow, <laughs> way to go, Mister Chad. Shit. <laughs> well, that was pointless. And I look around. Don't you all have classes to attend to? They all just like go back to what they were doing. <laughs> some like bury their noses in books and just kind of head in their other direction. And you can see that um, uh, Blukwick is just consoling the kobold. Don't worry about that one. He, he, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. I think you'll make a great dragon. Oh. Is the kobold saying anything? The or? kobold doesn't say anything. It appears to be mute, but it, it does several hand gestures of gratefulness back to you. <gasps> and let oh. me show you what the kobold looks like. Oh, no! Please! The kobold's oh. got a picture. Please! The kobold's if got a picture. If anything happens, if anything happens. <laughs> oh. No! Uh. Okay, okay, nothing can happen to this kobold. Nothing can happen to this goblin. That is the rule. <laughs> it's gonna be real sad Dorothy. when they both die. Shut up, Nathaniel. I will kill Stop. you before this goblin dies. My goal was to sleep the goblin and then tie her up. And then we were just gonna <laughs> ring her out for information, but no. We had to go on this high school musical. <laughs> it's hey, almost hey. like we want friends, Nathaniel. I know that, that you don't want <laughs> This is not the time. <laughs> it's almost as if having allies is a we good thing. We had friends. We have friends who are in perilous danger and we haven't been able to get to Is them. it not yep. a good idea to plant the seeds, uh, the seeds of riot in all these students to question <laughs> their teachers? <laughs> question your superiors! <laughs> Disrespect you your surroundings. <laughs> Knocks off Nathaniel's hat. <laughs> We're doing ourselves a favor later when we take out the yeah. heads, because all the exactly. students will be questioning yeah. the teachers. It's fine. Exactly. Exactly. Sounds great. All right. All right. Can we oh yeah. There, you you see that Blukwick just looks up to you. Uh, sorry for getting getting you into Blukwick and Doherty's nonsense. We uh, uh we joined Dory? with a friend to try and get away from this nonsense uh, a few months ago. But um, ever since they left to go do some things in Belkinus, we haven't heard from them in quite a while. What was their names? Oh, well, uh, j- just one. He's a big orc fella, real friendly. Uh, his name was Hedrick. Uh, way, way better at necromancy than Doherty or, or Blackwick, and always looked out for us against these guys. But... Joe... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, Joe, have I killed a man named Hedrick? Please tell me we haven't killed a man named Hedrick. <laughs> Wait... She, she continues. I mean, it got to the point oh, he eventually chose, uh, got chosen for a field project in the abandoned sewers near the capital. Wait. <gasps> oh, no! 
Yeah, we killed this man. I, yeah. No, no, he, killed was, this he was the guy man. who was controlling the. Uh, I killed this man. Well, yeah. Look at that. Real quick, real quick, just kind of looks to the to the dead grass. He, he never came back. But it's not unusual for Spine of Death members to not return for a long time outside. So, uh, Blookwick not too worried, and you can see that the cobalt just like crosses its arms sassily. Blookwick is not worried. He'll be back. Oh no! It was the, yeah. it was the orc. It was <sighs> yeah. the half orc. Oh, yeah, that was that controlling the big sleep. one. Sleep. No, oh, and then Enoch that, like that sh Enoch went up point executed. blank. <gasps> oh, you execution styled him! Oh, Yo, okay, cool. Monster! All right, I'm gonna say. Uh, All right, no, this yes, is I'm, the. Oh, yes, look, I'm sure the that consequences of my actions now weighing on my emotions. <sighs> yes, well, I'm sure that your friend will you come back. Process him, you know. Yeah, no, this is a. I can't do it now. But Enoch is very guilty faced right now. Oh my. You can see that uh, Doherty just turns and gives a little a little bow of, a bow of gratitude, and uh, Blookwick just looks uh, to him. Anyway, we're, we're not talking about him right now. We're gonna go mess with Bloodstride. You wanna come help out? And you can see that uh, Doherty just nods his head with a big smile, just like, and you can see his beard just like flow in the air as he's nodding aggressively, and there's joy across his face. Come on, we used to him. do this all the time. <laughs> Oh, oh what? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, God. yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So, she leads you, continues to lead you up the stairs. Up the stairs, up the stairs. And this okay, is no emotion. Let's go. <laughs> Let me I grab can't believe you. Enoch My face is betraying <laughs> all the emotion. And Enoch. now you guys are in the fourth floor of Wertheim, the seminary. Whoa. Ooh. Uh, Hi. Oh, there we are. Oh God. <laughs> The goblin oh, is on top of me. <laughs> yep. And uh, so... Stop, goblin! You guys, you guys come up here, and Blookwick just kind of, like, puts one finger over her mouth. Now, be very quiet. This is restricted to most students. And seeing that you're not even students, I would be quiet. Oh, well, it's now so, a good time to tell you guys I have disadvantage on stealth. <laughs> good. Now, I, I feel like that might be uh, more along my line. Let's try uh, office think... is the first one on the right, which means, you know, on for us, it's on the left. And right. she yeah. simply looks over to Doherty. Doherty, you watch the entrance. And Doherty just gives one big thumbs up and nod and just kind of goes part way down the stairs to keep mm -hmm. an eye out. If you want, I can scout ahead and just make sure that people aren't going to be in there. Hopefully. And then if people are, you can just run in all gun horror blazing. And at the very least, I can kind of play shit off for a little while. Sounds good. Oh. All right. Yes, <laughs> nod. It's like, pull out my thieves' tools. Uh, door might be locked. Cool. Oh, it most certainly is. Do you do you want to come with then? And oh, unlock the yes, I would uh, love to see how you mess with these locks. Dory has been able to get through them, but every time Bloodstride makes them more and more difficult, Dory would love uh, to see how you work. Uh, Luna gives a pat on Enoch's Or rather, uh, uh, Bookwit, sorry. Bookwit, not Dory. Yeah, Bookwit. That's Bookwit. fine. Uh, yeah. Renee will just nod and like look over, like, all right, come on, Linda fancy fence. A, a pat on Enoch's shoulder. Remember, he's better at picking locks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that be me. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be sneaky snoo as I make my way down, down, walking yeah. fast, facing uh, fast. Same here. Oh, you guys go. Yeah, I'm about to say I'm not gonna sneak down there until I have yeah, to. Yeah, I'm a sneak. I'm a sneak. All right. So you go over to the door. And you can see that there is an arcane lock. There is what looks to be a physical lock, but arcane sigils kind of like covering it in rings. <sighs> okay, what do I got? A gun. <laughs> uh, I, um, I'm aware I have a gun. Uh, you yes. have my thieves tools is what you have. I haven't been able to move any of my spells because we love level. <laughs> so we have, ooh, yeah, we got a level up soon at some point. Uh, let me see. Uh, did you do, 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 do. Could I mimic what I did before? Um, um, what did you do actually, before? Uh, with Mage Hand and the shield on the door, if I pop my my shield, my hand within the arcane like lock, would I be able to just sort of like fiddle? I don't know that the Mage Hand will fit in there. It, it's the size of a proper normal lock. It doesn't say the Mage Hand has to be any particular size. If I just fiddle with the lock inside, not messing with the actual sigil, but just like fucking around with the inside of the lock. I would, would say 
I would say you can give a sleight of hand check. Ooh, because that's okay. essentially just picking a lock. I mean, yeah, you're just messing around with the pins in the yeah, lock. Yeah, I'm so. just messing around with the pins. I'm not messing with the actual, like, arcade lock itself. I'm messing around with the pins of the inside. Oh, I, I thought that's what I was here for. <laughs> well, we thought that was here, and then we realized it was arcade magic. Yeah. Which you don't I have mean, anything wait, for. Wouldn't, wouldn't, so, I, ha- although, I just had an idea. Uh, although I, you, if, are, you are picking the lock with a magic, you are still physically picking the lock. If, um, mm. if... Renee did that at the same time that Enoch was trying to pick the lock. Would that be a, a, a sleight of hand and advantage from somebody because they're technically helping each other? I guess other. he can use a help action, yes. Okay, so I'm working on it from the inside. You work on it from the outside. <laughs> All um, right. Okay. Best so odds? Do I roll with advantage then? Yes, roll a okay, sleight okay. of hand with advantage. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's go, buddy. All right. <laughs> As you pick it, I need both of you to make a constitution saving throw. Fuck! Oh, shit. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right, 15. as you pick it, you feel a shock of energy go through you as the sigils glow very, like, briefly. And Renee, you yep. take five necrotic damage. Okay. And Enoch, you take two. Yeah, oh yeah, because as it, it, you see up. a bolt of black lightning just briefly Wait, come out it- from the lock wait is it two because i succeeded because you succeeded yeah. yes then it's one because awesome then it's one all right yeah yeah right she goes fuck and just bolts back oh. like <laughs> oh <laughs> okay so I, I feel like this actually might <laughs> this might be more complicated than we thought uh, wow no what? shit Sherlock. yep sassy first off second off let me give this a go <laughs> Can I can I try and slight and hit, sleight of hand this? So I'm gonna help you out. Um, judging mm-hmm. by the uh, uh, kind of return from the lock that zapped you, it doesn't seem like the problem is your ability to pick the lock. You could probably pick the lock just fine, judging by you know looking at the maneuver that Renee was doing with her mage hand and you helping out and kind of like mm-hmm. pointing out parts. It's the magic sigil that's stopping you. <sighs> so Does I'm... anybody here have to spell magic? I no? don't! I have detect magic! <laughs> is it a charm? I don't know, is it? No. Uh, weird weird idea. How was the sigil put into the lock? You can see that there the sigil is a circle kind of around. So let me let me draw it out. Um, like is it is it is it drawn on there or is it like etched in there? It is kind of a hovering hologram over the lock. Damn it! So, so imagine uh. I'm gonna draw it right here. So imagine the lock is like that, right? The sigil I, is like this. Yeah. And like okay. symbols all around it and stuff. Okay, because I was going to say, if it ah. was like etched in there, I could use mending and like get rid of it, but it's floating. It's like how they keep <sighs> you from like locking Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. I hate this. So it's either figure out how to dispel the, the magic or break the actual door. Um, Can I look at the sigils and see what would be safe to like try and erase? I don't know. Like, you can give me an arcana check. Sure. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. Well, dispel magic probably would work. I don't have dispel magic! Hey, Renee. Do you have a, what? Do you have dispel magic? I'm going to actually punch you. <laughs> is, we've run into this problem several times. I don't have it. I okay. have Detect magic. But can you dispel magic? Does the door have exposed hinges? Yes. You see, other <laughs> aside from the locks on the door, uh, the, aside from the magical sigil, it is a mundane door. She like looking at the lock, looking at Lizzie, and then she's looking over the door. Like, wait, fuck. wait, yeah. Renee, you can't dispel magic. Can you dispel door? I'm going to punch you. No, uh, no, no. Wait, what was Luna gonna say? What was Luna gonna say? Uh. First off, Renee, Dimension Door can get past that easily. Second, um, I don't but, it might have, that spell but it might have wards. Second, yeah. um, take the hinges off out of the door, guys. It's a mundane door. You have an artificer yeah. of thieves tools there. You can get the yep. screws out of the hinges. Cool. Go for well, it. Are you going to unhinge the, the, the door hinges. then? <laughs> yeah, let's unhinge the you can door. Just, you can just, all go. you have to do is pop the pins out of the hinges. It's not hard. Okay, uh, All right. let, me, let me give it a go if, so, if you want me yes, to. Yes, you see the hinges on the outside of the door, you unscrew them, and the door falls 
Wow, he really the, needs to get started. I've never it's heard of security theaters throughout the entire hallway. Oh, fuck. We couldn't have caught the door? Actually, you know what? Give me your choice of dexterity or strength saving throw to see if you can catch the door before it does that. Okay, I will can do I, can a I dex saving with, throw. If can you want to assist, assist Renee that? instead, you can. Yeah. So it would give me advantage? Yes. Let's yeah. go, boy! Yeah! You like, you like pirouette the door like a dance partner because you you do not, this door is heavy, but you're able to like maneuver yourself to swing yourself around the door in like a spin so that all the momentum is lost and you whoop, prop it on the wall quietly. Yep. Uh, listen, like Renee just like, right. oh, oh I... that dancing paid off. Oh yeah, no, that was, that was a cool move. Uh, and Thanks. also no, no, on top of that, do it again. <laughs> if I have ever seen security theater at its finest, it is this. <laughs> Never make me do it again. And she will look, look over into the room. You and look inside and you indeed see Bloodstrike's room. However, you also see a figure inside that takes notice <gasps> of you. Oh god, what the fuck is that? You see... Tell it you just want to talk. A smoky aberration, a aberration of some kind that notices you uh, and immediately wait seems to move with extreme hostility towards you. I'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative. Ow. <laughs> okay. All right, so this thing immediately is starting to hover its way towards both of you at the sight of you. Oh no. Uh, Enoch, you go first. Yep, uh, fuck. The problem is that I know what, it, what I'm about and unfortunately I can't avoid it. Joe, I have a quick question. Yeah, what's up? With the gavel, I want to inform you that I shoot magical bullets. I'm not sure if that is quite enough, or does it have to replicate the uh, the explosive sound of a firearm? I would say it's still loud, even if it doesn't sound like the traditional physical bang of a firearm. Okay, so we're talking something like with a suppressor, because a suppressor does not mean that it keeps it from being loud. It just means that it doesn't hurt your ears. I didn't say that. I just said that it sounded different. Okay. <laughs> well, a magical bang sounds different from a gunpowder bang. Okay. God. Well, but I mean, I'm not going to say you get, you know, tinnitus from from shooting it <laughs> indoors. Oh, yeah. No, I'm. Uh, oh, there I, he goes. I, I can understand. I'm, I'm coming in. Gavel out, blade, uh, blade to the side, because I don't want to drop my disguise self. I'm just gonna lay into this thing full scale. All right, here we go. How many times can I hit this thing before I can't? Uh, fifteen. Uh, fifteen does indeed hit. Okay. Uh, and that's gonna be. Wait, you're using the gavel, like the actual gun, to like shoot point blank? Well, he's got uh, a feature I, that I... allows him to do it without disadvantage. Yep, that's the okay. fun of it. Okay, that's the fun of it because as a as a bonus action, uh, I still have my second attack. So that's gonna be ten for the first hit. And this is with magical bullets. These are with magic. Okay, that one does hit as well. Okay, yes, you fire two shots. You can see that it brightens up the two points that the bullets land in this kind of ethereal creature. Okay, and um, bonus action, I'm gonna use my. Uh, I'm gonna use my feature, which allows me to use my bonus action to make a melee attack if I if I use my firearm. Mm. So I'm gonna use the rapier for this. Uh, 19? 19 does hit. Let me see the damage. Okay, 11. you fire and one slash with your rapier and you cut into it. However, it seems as though your rapier kind of almost fades through it. It does seem to kind of rupture its figure a little bit, but not nearly as much as your your gun. Okay. Well, that's all I got. End of my turn. Rene. Hi. Turn. I'm probably going to look over and just kind of like look over the team, gesture in the room of like points in room, does like wiggly hand gesture of like creepy thing in there. And then put up my dukes of like, we're fighting. <laughs> and then I guess I'm going to try and find my way in here without getting hit. Probably go up. Like I was here, so I'll probably go one, two, three, four, just so I get a layout of what the fuck I'm looking at. I'm gonna, I'm aggroing um, this thing hard because I've, I hit it so hard, it's probably focused on me. 
20, 25, 30. So I can start making my way closer over there. Yeah, you can. Eh. Okay, so that's going to be my 30. Um, and then I, I can I get a so guesstimate of what this is? You can from use, here? I'll say, a bonus action arcana check. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, looking 18. at it, it seems to be very similar to the portal that you saw in the middens. However, it looks deactivated in some way. Oh. You can see why? that it is it is it does look like a sigil that is floating there, but it looks a little bit more translucent and is not the sigils are not moving, it's not spinning like it was downstairs. Whatever it is, it's inactive right now. Oh. Can I with that arcana, can I can, are these connected? Are these two guys connected? Or is this guy and this guy connected or no? With that arcana check, it doesn't just, seem like they are. Okay, just curious to know. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, For my Axioni, um, I don't really have a lot of spells that are quiet. <laughs> um, And this thing is does not have metal on it, so it's not invisible. It is not. But yeah, okay. Uh, I don't have a lot of good combat spells, so uh, I guess I'll just shoot it with my crossbow. <laughs> All right, you most certainly can. I, at least not a lot of heavy combat spells that don't do well in like this sort of environment. So, I mean, if okay. I get hit, Kablams. I get hit. That it's is my gonna choice. hit. Kablooies. Okay, you fire it, and it seems almost as if as if it absorbs the bolt. Like the bolt looks like it slows down as it hits it. It does rupture kind of a little bit of the smoky figure, but it kind of like almost gets consumed by this smoky figure. Hmm, I don't like that. Ah. Yeah, that's all I can do. So next is the Alice turn. The, Great. The Time Alice to die. <laughs> is simply going to move through Enoch. <gasps> its body goes oh. through you, and Enoch, I'm gonna need you to make a constitution saving throw. Don't fail. Oh, that, that usually bodes well. Oh. I don't remember anything about its stat block. All I remember was feeling nervous 24. about it. 24, <laughs> that's a natural 20, 24, baby. that's a okay. natural 20. Oh my god. You take, well, you have like double resistance because you made the save, <laughs> so four, you take two necrotic damage, and the additional effect <laughs> does not go off. Oh, oh. boy. However, it is going to use its whispers of madness at both Ooh. of you. So both of you both? make wisdom saving throws. Oh no. You can hear oh. some soft whispering into your ears through your mind. 22! Guys, don't oh. let me near this thing. Don't let me near this thing. I will. I might accidentally kill you guys. Please don't. Fine. Enoch might kill me. So, okay. Enoch's probably going to kill me. Renee, you take... Yep. Let's see. Enoch mm. is probably going to kill me. <laughs> You, Enoch, take you, eight, me, you take eight psychic you. damage, Renee. Enoch, eight psychic damage, gotcha. You take 19. <laughs> okay. And the figure slowly lifts a hand, kind of the smoke forms a hand and points to Renee. And now, Enoch, yep. you must make a reaction to fire at Renee. Yep, that makes sense to me. <laughs> so roll the gavel. <laughs> All hit right. me, hit me, I'm you so You see the smoke kind of cover your arm and lift up out of your control. Oh my god. <laughs> As her gun kidding. goes off and I fires at kidding. Renee. I was kidding! Let's see the damage. I rolled a natural 20! On me! You dick! I was so oh my god, Enoch, you rolled a natural 20. Holy damage. shit. You killed the okay. You killed the for the damage! No, wow, you're doing great. Me. Look at how much damage. Oh. Oh. I think I just put Renee into the ground. Oh, oh my you god. god. That's, that was that's 40, that's 40 that's 46 points of damage. Doubled, that's a crit. That's that was almost, oh god, that was almost maximum wait. damage. One well, more. Wait, Renee, wait. what's your hit points? Wait. Good. She's wait. doing great. I, my max is 45. You don't you don't auto die. It has to go over. It has oh to basically double God. you. It has to double your you to double your max hit points. Me. Kind of. That's so not Renee, exactly it, but Renee is down. Oh. Immediately? Yep. Immediately cannot, with that one I shot. Believe, with that I one cannot shot. believe today. <laughs> He realized that none of his monsters could defeat us. I guess I guess that half I guess that orc wasn't the only one that you murdered in cold blood today. So yeah, Renee uh, Renee he, he would have had to do what is it? 
90 damage you to you to, to kill you out okay okay so okay. as i <gasps> for the for the sake of for the sake of the argument before i put you down i'm sorry wait as i raise the gavel as i raise the well, gavel the, the reaction the reaction is just one okay yeah as i raise the gavel there are tears in my eyes yeah, i mean do you even know what you're doing i don't think so but it's Still painful. Well, you to know think. that the you know that the whispers and and stuff co- made you do that. You know that it wasn't okay. You. Okay. And you. S- <laughs> oh, today is an emo- emotional turmoil. This is sad cowboy to the power. You simply of five. hear. <laughs> you simply hear a whisper in in your mind. You are a killer. That is going to be the Alex's turn. Actually, no. It's going to move out into the hallway. Um, and I at the rest of you. Nathaniel, <laughs> your turn. I heard multiple bangs. I have no reason to believe that those guys are dead in there, or Renee at least is. Uh, so if this thing is out in the hallway, I see spooky ghost man. I don't have a lot of options for spooky ghost man. I was saving this for Bloodstride. Oh no! Uh, all right. I'm going to take a single step forward and I am going to reach out, try to connect with this thing's mind as I whisper eldritch words into the air, trying to do the exact same thing that it just did to Enoch, not realizing that it has done it to him as I cast dissonant whispers. Mm. (laughs) Okay. It makes, wait, yes, it makes the save. Okay, it will, if it takes psychic damage, it will still take, uh, that was 19, so that's 9 psychic damage. And that's me. I'm gonna back okay. up immediately. <laughs> you say, you say this, these eldritch horrors to this thing, and it screeches and shudders and shakes. You can see that its form is barely holding itself together. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, like, I, I'm gonna quickly, like, back up. Luna, you're up. That's my and turn. I, I will say that uh, Bookwit will go after Luna. Oh, okay. Okay. Luna. Cool. Her turn. Um, <gasps> if I'm gonna kill the sisters, I have to burn an action search since I have to dash. So that's what's gonna happen. We don't know how much health it has. Uh, and uh, bonus action to ignite wrath. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go absolution wrath. Okay, that does Eight. hit. Uh, it's not magic slashing. <laughs> Nope, it is not. You slash through it. You can see that it catches a few bits of this smoky cloth on the figure. But it is holding on just barely. Nope, your second one misses. Fuck. Uh, Is there anything I can do? Nope. Nope, that's it. That's all I've got. Right. I I can't even see Renee. Next, Enoch's turn. Oh, God. So am I... Am I out of the uh, the mana? Yeah, well, it was only for the reaction. Seeing Renee on the ground. Save Renee. She's gonna be making death saves. Yeah. No, I'm no. fine. <laughs> Listen, I have I, mean, I have three that I can do. It's fine. Yeah, no, I I am I'm gonna Don't we play where they don't reset? Oh wait, wait real quick, before day? before Enoch's turn, wasn't uh Oh yeah, Goblin yeah, yeah. going to go? So uh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Blookwig uh, just looks what in the hells is that? And just kind of like goes over, just like to hide by the side. Uh, I'd like Next to like to look over it at Blookwick real quick and say, "It looks like Bloodstride finally tired of your antics." Oh, it seems so. I never wanted any of this to happen. All right. Sorry All right. about anyway, that. Anyway, Enoch. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, listen, I've got three. Right. I I know you. I know you got three. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Don't you have? Oh, by the way, I need to make a Constitution check for uh, my disguise self spell. Oh yeah, because I took, a, I took a somebody. L- yeah, you're fine. So uh, yeah, healing uh, hands is an action. Yeah, he- heal- healing is always an action. God, I really Listen, wish that it's was fine. a bonus action. Mm, no, it's not fine by me. <laughs> so here's what I am going to do. I am going to go up to Renee, and I am going to use my awesome R ability. I'm going to give her eight hit points with healing hands. Okay. And she's just like, oh god, I'm so fucking sorry. And just like, 
like right where the bullet hole is. I'm just gonna touch it and almost as if trying to drag it out and heal the wound at the same time. All right, Renee, you're back up with eight hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! What happened? No, I, like, I didn't do that. I didn't mean to do like, that. Oh. that. That was not me. I did not mean to do that. I would never. I would, never would have done that. Where is it? It. It's about to get my fucking ire. Action surge. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna on on my foot, spin around, gavel in hand, uh, and I am going to. I'm gonna pump a fucking dead eye shot in this thing. I'm what gonna make this an do? advantage. It gives me advantage. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I could fucking roll another twenty on this if I can. All right. So uh, this sh- so this shot is going to be an All right, unnatural yep, that twenty. Hits. Okay, so twenty two, and you fire it, and just this last shot, just the smoke dissipates, and the creature vanishes. You hear a a loud whisper that pierces all of your ears. Uh, and I... <laughs> is Fuck. combat over? Combat is over. And you can see, Nathaniel, I'm... as you start to leave, uh, Bookwit just uh, uh, just takes a step back. You, um... You can go ahead. I think I might try my prank some other day. I, I'm pumping uh, Cure Wounds into Renee. Uh, was Bookwit's only purpose to get us into this room? Like, is, was that all she said she could do for us? Well, she she wanted to get you into the room. Yeah, for a prank. For a prank, yes. Okay, so that's everything she had? Yeah, we basically dangled the fact that we knew Bloodstrike's real name over her head in order to convince her to oh, okay. help us get to in not, like To not tell on us. Mm-hmm. Yes, perhaps it is best that you stay out these effects but uh, step, she step. she kind of th- takes a few steps forward but uh, uh so uh, so um about that tea you, you said you had uh, some dirt on uh, on professor bloodstride i'll just tell her for god's sake i look back at her and then back at like where the wispy monster was if you want to know more about bloodstride ask yourself Step, step, step. Mm, She considers this. And yep, so you head into Bloodstride's office. You can see that there is a a couple of desks. You see there's an alchemy table with a few potions brewing. Uh, You can see that there are various different papers and bookshelves. And the deactivated uh, teleportation circle. (sighs) Fuck, okay, so that... That is a teleportation... But it's not fucking. God, what happened? Oh, it fucking hurt. I'm so f- uh, I'm so sorry. We Scorpio gave us some potions of healing, didn't he? He did. Uh, I, I think like two Renee? potions of greater healing. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving one to Renee because I remember he gave me a couple jars of of exhaustion oil and a couple healing potions. So I will roll that. Here you, you go, got it, Renee. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Yay! Hey, you know what? That's double the hit points I currently have. I will take it. Please, just, just uh, drink this. Two uh, what okay. happened to you? Uh, it it said some creepy shit. It flaked me the fuck out, and then he knock shot me. What? It I, it was some I sort didn't... of spell that the thing had, and ah, uh, a charm then. Oh, you both. Right. I guess. Are you both okay? Yep. Yeah, fine now, ish better than I was before. Sorry, I can't do much more. <sighs> this is this is this is plenty than what I had. It's it's fine. Who knows? Maybe Blood Stride is that much of a paranoid bitch. He might leave a potion lying around his office. Maybe, maybe. Or the location, of the next ascension ceremony. I think it probably has something to do with that over there. She like gestures over at the teleportation circle. Yeah, I, I wanted I to ask to if it had it. the same kind of glyphs that we saw in the map. In the map? The same kind of weird... The oh. map of the world we found that had the weird writing that we connected to the last teleportation symbol? Yes. 
I wanted to know if this is also like the same. Very language. similar, yes. Similar markings and symbols that are foreign to your world, but uh, similar to the ones that you saw in the middens. Does it seem like there's a particular place where the runes have been scratched out to deactivate it? No. It looks fairly similar for all, all you can <laughs> tell. If you would like, you, you can make an arcana check as well. <laughs> yeah, that's what Luna can give a or, shot. You know, j- y- yeah, 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 you can. I think no, 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 this is great. This is great. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, right. Luna. Looking at it, it is simply a de- from what you can tell, it if this were a uh, teleportation circle um, akin to the ones you've seen in your world, this one is simply deactivated so that no one else can use it at the time being. Mm. But of Should course, we... me as a non-magic user would have absolutely no chance in figuring out how to activate this. So, uh, I'm just going to wave someone over. Uh, I mean, I have some mild knowledge. You can give just... me your passive arcana so that we're not just rolling until we get a good number. Okay, uh, I have a plus five? Plus five arcana, yes. You also come to the same conclusion, that this portal was deactivated, and it was uh, likely used to go across very large distances. Um, however, because it a distance that normally would not be able to be managed by someone by themselves. So, hold on, let me just take a few steps back. So, you know... Judging from the teleportation that people use, people are able to come to Vertheim, but in order to leave Vertheim, they can't do it themselves. They have to use a portal, as you saw in the portal room. This, however, is a specific portal that seems to be used to teleport freely to anywhere the user wishes in in a way that the person wouldn't be able to do just by themselves. So they're limited by themselves, but it's basically a portal that can go anywhere as opposed to a portal that has, like, one set location. Because, okay. judging by what you know about the Spine of Death, they can't go anywhere from Vertheim. I feel like Kara might have a better glance at this, but this will get a... If we were able to use this, we could get around anywhere. Well, it seems very clearly and deliberately shut off. It also looks like Bloodstride is not here. I didn't expect him to be in here. I mean, should we use the Sending Stone and get her up here, or should we... Well, she doesn't have it. Uh, I thought she told us. Did she? The Sending sending Stone allows you to do Sending to anybody, like, normally, because you know her. I thought thought Sending Stone was, like, there's two of them, and one person holds one, and one person holds No, it just allows you to cast Sending. Oh, Oh, okay. okay. Uh, Cool. Right? Can I... Uh, I so, thought it was just that they oh, were linked to each other. Uh, at rules like is written, phone. no. Yeah. There, there's two stones, and one talks to the other. Uh, but yeah. if you want it to just be the stone lets you cast sending whenever you want, I then that's fine. I prefer the stone lets you cast sending. That sounds more convenient. Okay. Yeah. Uh, with that, I'd still want to look around this room to see if there's any more information. Like, there's papers here, there's a big-ass bookshelf here, mm-hmm. there's a beaker, yep. and tubes, there's a trash bin. I'm gonna look through his trash. I'm the trash man now. <laughs> I'm the trash uh, man. No, I'm gonna no, eat the garbage. No, you're just a cop. I'd uh, like to help out as well. Okay. I'll, oh, you, I'll you, take you care of some this, garbage too? Uh, this bookshelf if you want me to. Yeah, so looking through the papers, you can see that there are various notes and just kind of like notes on some new recruits and potential new recruits uh, from where Luna and Renee, you can look through. Nathaniel, you look through the books and they're fairly mundane books about the recordings and and history of necromancy and stuff like that. You can see a lot of them have very similar handwriting to Kara Miharian's notebooks uh, and notes as well. However, you do find one notable uh, kind of sheet of paper that is kind of binded together, and you find uh, this. Inside there are various notes and monthly entries on the current and recent recorded history of the world that has come to be known as Vertime. All mostly mundane and uneventful until one entry from a year ago. I read this aloud. We've come in contact with a creature, likely the last living being in Vertheim. It is most definitely intelligent and is likely incredibly powerful to have lasted this long in a dead world. Perhaps this is the final piece of the puzzle that the Queen was searching for. A shame it has to be ciphered. I'm sure the scholars in Belkinus would have a field name for this creature. What I wouldn't give to be the siphoner, though. 
The rest of the pages are filled with aggressively scratched out notes. I think we just right. killed whatever it was. Oh. <gasps> no. Oops. Oh, never I, mind. I'm going to say here, it appears that the queen is not merely a title given to Kara as a scapegoat. It is a real person. That's what I've been saying. I'm confirming that. Fuck. And if it's not Kara, and if it's not Kara, then I can only think of one other person it would be. Chandra. Uh, Enoch, you find several sheets of paper, notably, that have your names on it. Oh. Sifting through all the what? books, you see that there are some research papers, and they're all titled Dossier, followed by each of your names. Oh? Uh. uh. I don't, I, I'm not going to say anything to them right now. I'm just going to flip through them real quick. You're going to flip through them? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to flip through All right, them. well, uh, flipping through them, they are readable notes. And, uh... Oh. So... Let me just show them all. I, I'm not saying anything to any of them. Okay. I'm, I'm reading some things. Well, So, like, I'm probably distracting everybody else. So, just a heads up, there is a lot of information. Uh, so, I will say the players, you know, you will know this, but for simplicity's sake, after we're done reading them, if Enoch were to show them to you, you know, we can just count whatever you know into your characters now, uh, after, so that you don't have to, like... But yeah, the players, you'll know this. I trust you not to metagame that your characters will know this until Enoch mm -hmm. shows them to you, right? Oh, okay. Great. Yep. So, which one do you want to look at first? Nathaniel. <laughs> I'm sorry. You Nathaniel? That was curious. always going to be the correct answer. <laughs> yeah, All right. Uh, the curious case of Nathaniel Gainsby. All right. Oh my God. You look through Nathaniel's sheet. <laughs> this is what you find. Okay. <gasps> oh. Okay. Uh, it is the longest one. Pardon. Nathaniel Gainsby, Yuan T, son adopted of a piece of the parchment seems to be scratched out in black ink. Originally mm. an orphan, the witch taker has a most intriguing history. Adopted father was previously owner of the Witch Taker business, formerly known as Thief Takers. Records oh. show that the man was jailed for murder and necromancy, and Gainsby's involvement was what brought it to light, and by extension elevated him as the new owner of the Bureau. But some insiders have given me a trail that said uh, that said case may not be so cut and dry. An investigation is underway, as information has come to light that there was residual enchantment magic on Redacted, that was once brushed off as nothing to note. Recent findings theorize that Redacted was charmed to perform the, the actions Gainsby had turned him into the authorities for. I suspect he was behind his father's actions and arrest. To what ends would he do this? M must investigate further. Regardless, it is deceit of masterful execution. Though he stays close to his partner Renee, in more recent days, we have taken notice of a particular person whom he seems to take a more cautious steps in meeting a red dragonborn by the name of Lancel. His demeanor around the Witch-Taker is not like his other employees. Methinks a more personal connection. Note, keep a close eye on this Lancel. He may be a good bargaining chip. The Witch-Taker's proficiency is not only charms, but social manipulation. So allies are often in places most unexpected. When faced with a pot potential threat, he attempts m such manipulation, even if he does not fully comprehend his opponent, and such confidence can be very convincing. In combat, he prefers indirect intervention, relying on charms and magics to keep himself out of harm's way, and using his opponent's strengths, positions, and wills against them. In these cases, preventing him from casting is a major priority. A well-placed silence spell should do the trick. After that, it's simply a matter of landing a good strike. See my encounter with him in Ruggerwood revealing his frailty. Gainsby strikes me, <laughs> Gainsby strikes me as one whose allyship could prove beneficial, and may even be willing to work with us if given the right incentive. However, this has dubious odds. Stay on guard, nevertheless. Okay. This is this is so curious to me because like it's it's a straight like like they are finding our weaknesses. All right. Uh, flipping over to Renee. Oh God. Renee. Yeah. Renee Badeau, born daughter of Luke Badeau and Leon Badeau, older sister of Francis Badeau. Huh. Official records on Renee are scarce, but from encounters with her and accounts of locals, she seems to be very much a pers uh, people person, able to get on many folks' good sides through pleasant conversation, sympathy, or small favors. Note, 
take careful observation on if these acts are some new subtle advancement of Nathaniel Gainsby's enchantments undetectable from usual magic means. In all other cases, however, she appears to be no more special than a typical magic user when faced in combat. Drained oh, of, no, that's mean. <laughs> drained of her spells, she is weak in a physical bout. Her preferred non-magical weapon appears to be a hand crossbow. Being up close will severely cripple that option for her. Accounts from Luke Badeau have revealed <gasps> that she is emotionally scarred by more drastic forms of necromancy. See Luke's record of attempting to resurrect his deceased first wife. Use of fear spells or failed subjects of true resurrection will easily unsettle her into a state of panic. However, she possesses a small enough threat that such drastic measures need not be taken. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, that is Dude, accurate. This man. This man's. So, can oh, we kill your dad? Merciless. Can I kill All your right. dad? He raised my dad. Next. Your dad. We, we dad. don't know <laughs> shit. Let's continue. Oh, I want to hear Luna now. I want to hear everybody. It. Let's go. Right. We got right. it. Okay. Bring, Bring it back. Next. Bring it back. We don't <laughs> know shit. Sorry. Yeah. Luna next. All right, Luna. I'm keeping myself best for last. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Luna Icewind, human. Daughter of Vadrin Icewind and Cena oh. Steelwork. An oh. interesting subject. Records of her childhood are difficult to come by, both kept off books by her father and also under strong political protection on account of her mother being a high rank in the guard. Accounts of locals in the mountains of Yedzel reveal a headstrong and stubborn mercenary with exceptional sword skills. Seems to have a strong relationship with another, another of her like. Her ability to summon a copy of herself is most fascinating. Combatants who can manifest a second self to fight are certainly rare but not unheard of, yet hers is a special make. Her swords seem to be the key. It bears the mark of the Raven Queen, and her father was a devout follower. Yet no records show any history of one being able to draw power from the Raven Queen. Perhaps it is a manifestation of strong prayer and belief akin to another deific follower. Must consult with the priests at the Temple of the Eternals. Note, be sure to bring coin. Methods of subduing her are equally evasive. Her combat prowess makes her a formidable foe, even against a skilled magic user, who would normally not be hindered by such a physical reliant opponent. Her copy allows the benefits of an ally and the mobility of teleportation. However, with multiple targets out of reach, she will surely struggle. Destroying her copy is no, not without its benefits either, as it requires her focus to summon it again, leaving her with fewer options if she wishes to use it again. Note, use magic missiles liberally. Oh no. Oh. My one weakness. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it, so it, so this is this basically is, uh, they've already learned how to retcon us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Well, that Last leaves least, me. Oh right. my. Enoch, Enoch goes Cullen. into his own file. Enoch, human, born son of Sia Torah Solomon, and redacted. That's, uh, that's in young hard. childhood. Enoch appears to have been possessed by an entity that had previously burdened his mother, named Redacted. This has granted him various skills and abilities not typical of a human, of his age, lifestyle, and experience. He follows the goddess Erethus zealously and holds her teachings to a very high regard, to the point that he vows to gift others of her teachings in the form of acts of vigilantism. See execution of several students in Belkinus's proper's old abandoned sewers without legal trial or consultation. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> ah, get wrecked. Yep. <laughs> no, hey, exactly. hey, there was legal consultation. Yeah. Me. <laughs> Are you a judge? Anyway. I apologize. I apologize. Yeah. Enoch combines magical and technological craft to make some interesting armaments capable of high-powered projectiles. His firearms are uniquely personal, as he can augment them to fire special rounds with various effects. His form, grants, uh, his form granted via his connection to the entity Redacted allows him to fly at impressive speeds. However, his interventions, his inventions are prone to malfunction, and his physical prowess is limited, making him easy to overpower with a stronger opponent. Overwhelm him with numbers or brute strength. He will have trouble keeping up. As for his flight, a simple fly spell will easily keep up with him. If that fails, his inability to stop himself from acting on his emotions, see encounter with myself by the abandoned sewers and Thorn near Chester City, will cause him to lose composure and take a rational, oftentimes foolish action. Note: Take a few student, uh, teach a few students some enchantment magics. <gasps> all right, this is they were all... training the kids to defeat us. This is all one hundred percent accurate. Oh my god! You think is there any? Is, is this? It's... <laughs> 
<laughs> a little bit. Uh, <laughs> the two combatants do the most amount of damage. Uh, so is that the only records here, is, or is it just us that uh, I see? You can see that those are on you, but you also find a few dossiers on potential students and people, uh, persons of note to keep an eye on, as well as a very bunch of various kind of uh, spell books and records and stuff like that as well. I want to find the thickest one, the one he cares about the most. I want to see which one he delves deep into. Uh, what, those who, are who three has the different things. Dossier? <laughs> who, who has the biggest dossier? Uh, well, I would say Nathaniel does. You can see that it's just mostly okay. a bunch of accounts on, you know, the history of the Witch Takers, its ins and outs, okay. the various people that have joined and been fired from the, uh, the facility. Okay. I would say, here's the dossier I want to find. Which one is the one with the most amount of wear on it? Amount of wear. Okay. Well, they're all pretty equally pristine like they're all like fresh paper yeah. that's like fairly new i mean they're all like kind of the same okay in terms so of I'm, where you know uh, so I'm, have you found anything as i look just beyond the the uh the shelf with a massive smile on my face <laughs> oh they have been they have been researching us what the hell are you yep. talking about? And I hold out the four dossiers. Uh, what the and fuck? Yeah, no, they uh, they have been actively trying to figure out how to kill us, and they might have done it accurately. Liberal use of magic. Fuck this. What? Uh, uh, am I allowed to like? Yeah, no, I hand it to you. I I give you each your own personal dossiers. Now, I don't know, I don't know if um you guys took note of this, but the story in Nathaniel's dossier contradicts Nathaniel's story. Oh, it does. In that, okay, yep. just making sure. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> just uh, uh, seems like a campfire talk that needs to happen. Uh. As I flip through my own dossier, my blood runs cold for a brief moment. I and read I them shut all. It and I what? What? What did you do? I read them all. Oh, one hundred percent honesty. I read them all. And to be quite honest, as I look towards Nathaniel, I don't care what you've done. I don't care what any of you have done. You're That's all good cryptic. people to me. No, you're all good people to me. And I hand over my dossier to the three. And I think it only fair that you all understand me just as well. So what you're saying is we played papers? I wouldn't see a reason against it. I mean, apparently all I am is a basic bitch, so... I mean... <laughs> just kind of, like, waves it forward, like... <laughs> well, you listen, you're basic in combat, but your social skills are beyond anybody else's. Like, I... you're, you're really, really awesome. You're, you're great. You're fant- You're amazing. I don't see a reason why we should be sharing all of this information. Bloodstride has gone to lengths to explain all of our weaknesses. As much as I appreciate working with all of you, I would prefer if that did not leave this pamphlet. Well, do you want to burn the dossiers? Preferably. All right, well then you can burn it. Wouldn't he know we've been here? He's going to anyway. We killed his ghost. Hmm, fair enough. In any case, have yeah, you found anything find regarding mirth. mirth? Nope, nothing. Did y'all... So this was a waste of time. <clears throat> Look, we might right. still have some time, but we have to keep looking. This portal on the ground, was it nothing? Yeah, it is yeah, something, but we can't use it. It seems to be deliberately turned off by whoever drew it. Probably Bloodstride, probably to keep people from using it. <sighs> I'm Damn. not I'm not magically inclined like you are. I can't turn it on. Is it possible for me to look this thing over? I took one class <laughs> of conjuration. <laughs> one <laughs> class. Of conjuration. I learned one spell and everything else I flunked out in. So could I make this arcana at disadvantage? Go ahead. Yeah, that's not as bad as oh, 13. Be. Yeah. You you basically know the same thing that uh, Enoch and Luna would have parsed from this in that Whatever it is, it is deactivated until whoever had deactivated it 
would come back to reactivate it to use it. And it will allow them to basically teleport anywhere, unlike the limited teleportations that you found downstairs. The longer that we spend inside of this place, the more options and opportunities Bloodstride gets to learn that we are here. If he doesn't already, if we don't find Mirth soon, this operation is going to be a failure. No, that's that's fair. Um... Nice. <clears throat> Wait, did you guys check the trash? Yes. Okay. Oh, did you check I the mean, trash? I, I, I mean, that's what did, I assumed we? we were doing while we were over here while Enoch was oh, reading that, that's my thing. bad for not thinking that you said that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did, 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 trash? did we check the trash? Yeah. Yeah. Looking, yeah. So looking no. in the I'm trash. Going, I'm going full <laughs> investigator mode. Uh, usually yeah. the most, yeah, the yeah, most you un- important things you can find in somebody's trash. You uncrumple one piece of paper in the trash, and you can see that there's like a sticky note that it says, Mirth Ascension Trial Today. And the marking based on like the the timeline was like half an hour ago and <gasps> it marks where the room is and the room <gasps> is down here i cannot Son believe of a bitch. that worked <laughs> are you serious it was in the trash oh, it's i needed to be in the trash man wait, wait, where's <laughs> down here on head? the bottom right door all right oh shit it was 30 okay. minutes ago we might be fucked guys yeah let's <laughs> let's be like gamers and fucking go Whee! Enoch let's yeah. move by, by the way while we were all doing this could we could we have possibly considered it a short rest you know what no cause uh, that's lo- it's not losing an hour that is losing an hour that's an yes. hour damn it alright never that mind. that is an hour so listen it's fine you guys <laughs> go through that uh, that door it is not locked however you mm-hmm. can see that there is kind of a sign there that says uh, officials only on the door. Cool, I'm officially here. Break down the door. <laughs> Break down the door. Just... <laughs> I'm an official. Seal of approval. I'm an official. Bam. Oh no, there's four of them! And you can see that Mirth is <gasps> conjuring. You can see, you look inside and Mirth, who appears to be channeling a spell, there's air around them and <laughs> that just circles around them rapidly. Papers are flying around the room. Their eyes are a bright white and glowing as they are conjuring some kind of spell into this dead human. Robes are being blown as their hands are, are deep pitch black and glowing with a green aura. They notice you come in and they see you, Renee, and Mirth just speaks up. Renee, and the conjuring stops a little bit, mm-hmm. and these two over here, a halfling and a half elf, look to you, and the half elf comes up. What are you doing? Uh, this place is off limits. It says official business only. Cool, and I'm officially fucking here and stopping this bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I would <laughs> like to roll I, initiative. I, yeah, I, I, would like to, to I would like to jump into that for simplicity. Room. I'm gonna yeah. put you here so that you're <laughs> not in a cramped hallway. <laughs> And we are going to cool. roll initiative. Initiative again, all right, baby! All right, oh boy, all right. I'm going into this with half health. Let's, let's go! These are Life. nobodies. I ain't worried about these guys. The half cabbage. Damn it. Can, yeah. I, can, I, can I roll halfway decently on my initiative ever, please? It's I, okay. No. I didn't roll well uh, We all rolled, rolled almost the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? And you get a mulligan. Still at the bottom. Okay. Now, immediately, the NPCs are going to go first. No, not these things. No, leave me alone. So, you can see Mirth losing concentration. They kind of fall to their knees, almost like they're exhausted. And you can see. I didn't draw it on on the actual (laughs) map, but there is a pile of diamonds next to them. (gasps) Oh, my. They've been trying to resurrect your body. I'll just I, draw I, a bunch I do of stuff care. right there. Well, we're keeping there we those. There's diamonds. So we're aware, right? Yeah. We're keeping those. And Mirth just falls <laughs> panting, so they're not going to do anything this turn. The elf simply puts out his hands and gestures, and there are four Alex yep. in yep. the room. Fuck! No likey. I hate all of them. This one is... Leave me alone going to come up close and do no! a little touch. It reaches out with its smoky leave hand me alone! at you, Renee. Is, no, this, a, uh, me is alone. this an attack action? It is an attack, yes. I would like to intercept it for whatever the hell it does to Renee. You may intercept. Roll the interception. Is it a roll to hit? Oh, it, uh, does it hit? Hold on, let me. 
Let me let me That's... let me look at. Oh yeah, yeah your AC your AC is real hits. low. Yeah, let's see if it hits first. It does hit. Okay, Fuck. yeah, I'm intercepting. <laughs> Okay. That is, this is expending my reaction, but that should be for reduced damage. It's fine. Ah. <laughs> okay, Renee, you take 12 psychic damage as this <gasps> hand moves through you, and you feel let's, just dread cover your body. Let's just say, let's be very glad that I took that potion, because and if I didn't, I'd be dead again. This one's going to do the same thing to Enoch. Ah, that was painful. Yep, oh. it lands as well. And Enoch, you take... Shit, that's not in my tray. You take 18 psychic damage, Enoch, as his hand just travels through mm. you, and you see visions of all the people you care about just yelling at you, angry, telling you how worthless you are. This one is going to use its Whispers of Madness on Nathaniel and Luna. I need you both to make wisdom saving throws. Uh, is this a spell? Okay. Oh, it is no. a spell. So, uh, time to hit me and time for so me to die. So you will be I rolling with advantage. <laughs> Bring it on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so Luna. I had a good run. Yeah. <laughs> hit me. You what? take 15 <laughs> psychic damage. Oh, awesome. Nathaniel, okay. you, you take. What is that? Halved. Uh, What's the number? Seven. Seven psychic damage. Is that half of 15 rounded down? Yep. Yep. Yeah. You take seven. And Luna. Ow. It points to Hit Nathaniel. Me. Oh. No, 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 no. Not Nathaniel. You need to use oh, your wait, reaction. I had 10 HP. Eat shit. I you don't need... have a reaction. <gasps> she doesn't because she used her reaction on me. Oh, That's you don't correct. have a reaction anymore. That's correct. Oh my, oh my God. Yes, Luna. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Oh Using action economy. Yeah. <laughs> and this one is also going to do the same thing again. So both no, of you need to make wisdom the... saves again. Leave Can I ask alone. politely not to? <laughs> 13? So Luna, 13. Unfortunately, 13 is not enough. So you're going to take the full Fuck. psychic damage again. Luna, stop but, dying. Uh, Nathaniel, you do take half damage. TPK. TP. Okay. TP. So Nathaniel, you're gonna take you're gonna take five psychic damage, and Luna, you're gonna take ten. Okay. And it is going it to is do the same command. However, it doesn't work. And uh, these two oh. are not doing anything because they're commanding the two Alex. Oh, you motherfuckers! Yeah. Hey, I wonder what to do. Your turn. Wow. I'm going to take my ring of haste. I'm gonna activate it. <laughs> that being my action, and. I am going to use my ring of haste and take my haste action as a disengage <laughs> because I don't want this thing touching me. Okay. And I'm going to go up to Mirth. You can see that they're kind of like on the floor, just like panting. They, Whatever they were doing, there it took a lot out of them physically. They're panting, yeah. just trying to get a hold of themselves. And I, I, I'm not caring about those two. I'm only caring about... Uh, I'm only caring about birth as I drop to my knees and I say, please, please, make this stop. Stop doing this. Please. Mm. You can see that they are out of breath and they're they're struggling to make a response to you, but they're not able to get anything out right now. Listen, I know, I know, I made a mistake of telling you something that I should have not done and I ended up pushing you away farther than I wanted to. And at the end of it, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you want to do necromancy. I don't care about any of that. I just care that you come home. You come back. Give me a persuasion with advantage. It's going to be an 18 first. And then a three. Okay, so, we're going to uh, take the 18. Thank God for that 18. You can see that Mirth will respond on their next turn. Oof. Valid. <laughs> okay. Anything else you're doing? Uh, uh, oh, I, can, I, I, no. can I use a bonus action to take a healing potion? Yeah, go ahead. So, eight points. Eight. It's not bad. And that's my only healing potion. <laughs> Mars, I want you to come home. Glug, 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 glug. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right. 
God. And uh, so your hasted action was to disengage. Action, uh, bonus action for the healing potion, haste, uh, action for the ring of haste, and then hasted action is disengage. Okay. And gotcha. Okay. So, and then just movement, and that's right. it. Renee, I'm done. Your turn. Um, I wonder if I could scare the fuck out of these guys. <laughs> to making them stop. Is there any way that I could yeah. say something so horrifying that they could get distracted from their commands? I don't know. I have no idea either, but I think it'd be fun. Um, I'm actually going to try this. I think it'll be fun because I'm first going to use healing word on myself, mm -hmm. but I'm basically using it while making a little like six second threat. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to roll that first. Nine. So as I'm talking, Nine. I'm getting healed. <laughs> so basically, it's just going to go, you think I'm fucking scaled of you? How many pe like, How many lives do you think we destroyed in order to get here where we are now in front of you? Do you really want to be the next two lives in that list? Right now? Give me an intimidation. <laughs> Is that what you want? <laughs> because I will give it to you. <laughs> Yes! Holy I will give shit. it to you if you really want it. Because my gods, I am having... Because the thing is, she's also made this realization about her dad. She is channeling her anger right now. If you really want to fuck with us today, I am in the perfect mood to destroy some fuckers' lives. And you can be next on that list. I'll prioritize you. You can see that the uh, gnome and half, uh, rather, uh, halfling and half elf just uh, look at each other, and uh, you can see they're a little bit shaken. Let's see if that causes them to drop their guard. But, um, let's go. <laughs> and that'll be my turn. Yeah. Nathaniel. Oh, I thought that you'd never ask. Yay! <laughs> All right, first things first, I'm going to hold my hand out into the air and five lines of magical light are going to shoot out, one involving the thumb this time, ooh, ooh. and they're going to connect to me and all of my friends, as well as mirth. And all of us oh. are going to gain the powers of my mantle of inspiration. Hooray! What does it do? <laughs> you can immediately, as a reaction, move up to your speed without provoking attacks of opportunity, and you gain eight temporary HP. I am basically going to threaten the fuck out of these guys. Just <laughs> adding on to that, like, gives it down to Nathaniel and just walks over to these two. Like, you want to try it today? You want to be the ones? Be so all you get um, it, Mirth even gets it. If Mirth wants to move, they can. If they're uh, incapable of it, they can't. I, I was wondering if, you know, could guide Mirth out into the hallway? You could drag them. <laughs> I, I don't want to be forceful. I, I'm not going to be forceful about this. I, okay, so let's kill all if of we their have to friends sit, first. If yeah, we have to course. sit in this room and hash this out, I will. Yeah? All right. Cool. Can we do that after we deal with yeah. these guys? Let's murder Please? their friends first. Okay, uh, so that was my bonus action. My action <laughs> is going to be spent casting a third level uh, sleep spell. Oh. Nice. I'm going to maneuver it so that it doesn't hit Renee. Actually, I maneuver it so that it, like... I'm an, I'm an owl, an so elf. I'm a half elf, so it doesn't affect oh, yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it does not affect half elf. Okay, very good. Over here. Yeah, oh, so the that's half fine. Elf won't get affected. Yeah, I just guy want this guy, the halfling. I don't think it's going to hit, yes. hit both of them, so we're oh going to do the halfling then. Listen, that's fine. I'll just threaten the fuck out of this elf. Okay, oh my god. 39. What is that? 39. Yep, the halfling goes to sleep. Yep, so I'm just staring down <laughs> this elf now as this halfling just falls asleep. I'm just like, mm hmm. I'm running out of spells. Yeah, no, listen, this is perfect. This is perfect for the intimidation tactic. Okay, Luna. Uh, okay. Yeah, and with that, I'm gonna take a step in here so that nothing bothers me. <laughs> Bye. Uh, well, my sword's still on fire. Is it? Me? Yeah, well, because I had it a, a flame in the other room and I didn't turn it off. Hey. Sweet. All right, show me so, fire sword. Oh no, we're we're not just doing fire sword. Wait, no, I don't want to do that because I don't want to burn birth. Never mind. We're not gonna turn into a lighthouse. We're just gonna yeah. Don't do bap lighthouse the ever living yeah. shit out of this thing. <laughs> All right, show me bapping the ever living shit out of that thing. All right, <laughs> yes. One. Ah, right. Ah, it's yeah. always the second. It's always the second swing. All right, you. Well, then I wait. I didn't use my bonus action, right? Use your bonus action. Well, yeah, I can bonus action take another attack. Cause dual we uh, uh, dual wielder. Yeah, offhand weapon. Yeah, yeah, that one hits. 
Yay! Hey, hey. Unfortunately, because of its resistance to physical damage, you, your <sighs> sword feels as though it's cutting through the wind, but it does dissipate a little bit of this ghostly, smoky form. Okay, cool. So, on the NPC's really turn... want to be the one? <laughs> on the NPC's turn, you see Murph yeah. looking up at you, Enoch, with tears in their eyes, and they simply put their hands on their heads and shout out, STOP IT! And several skeletons immediately burst out from the ground and hold the necromancers. <gasps> Murph, I love you. <laughs> Right. So, some skeleton so awesome. warriors, come on, skeleton warriors, and are gonna try and hold the necromancers. Well, this guy is well, asleep. So. One of them's asleep. So, yeah. <laughs> they're just gonna lightly hug him while he lays on the just, ground, and just they are him. held by the skeletons. And Mirth simply looks up to you, Enoch, and with tears rolling down their cheeks. Okay, let's talk. Right. And so, that's where we're going to end the right. session today. Oh, no! Oh, right. Okay, step one. Step one is done. We got 30 more to go. Oh, oh, oh.